Hey, I'm Kevin Shinnick. Um, I'm completely new to D and D, which I thought meant drinks and dining. So <laughs> I'm here under the wrong pretense altogether. But uh, this should be a very interesting first experience. I'm Dan Milano, and um, I love D and D. I've had various degrees of experience with it, but mostly as an adult, believe it or not. And uh, I'm real excited to be here. We'll be throwing down some magic. Uh, I'm Doug Goldstein. I've been playing D and D my whole life, on and off. I woke up really late and I didn't shower. So, uh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> That's negative charisma. <laughs> negative to the charisma. Hi, I'm Tom Root. I've never played D&D before, but I will be in the role of the blue Power Ranger today. <laughs> um, and I will do my best, which probably won't be very good. <laughs> My name is Zeb Wells. I have played a little bit of D&D, &D, and I'm playing a living statue today. Mm. So you're like a golem. Golem. I'm, deal I'm still dealing with my new human emotions. Wow. Were we supposed to say that? Because I'm a man with an enormous penis. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm brandishing quite a staff with a big head on it, as long as we're getting phallic. Well, now we're talking about our character. <laughs> Let's stop com swing compared I'm staffs. I'm double-donging it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Whatever. I have my knapsack. Ah. It's my huge <laughs> handy have a call something better. We bought a huge craft box. <laughs> we had like an art box, and it's got the minis and a special section for dice, and it's got like an initiative tracker and everything. And then I picked it up to leave <laughs> <laughs> the first day using it, and it just... <laughs> All over the floor. Oh, disappointment. <laughs> yeah, now it's just a, like a glad bag. No, it's, the, the knapsack's actually awesome. It's not the bag of holding. It just kind of keeps expanding and expanding and expanding. Right. right. I got a giraffe in there, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, once you've come up with names for your guys, let me know what they are, and I'll write them down so I can refer to your characters. Ranrock. Ranrock? Ranrock, R-A-N. Okay. He ran, and then he rocked. rocked. Also ran. All uh, right. This is a Bluebell. Bluebell. I love it. Bluebell the Drow. He is a drow. My boarder's name is Steel Diamond. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, a stripper? Is that his band's name? Or? Well, I was going to name him Steel Diamond, but I'm like, wait a minute. Steel Diamond. All right. I have a human wizard. Yeah. His name is Jaundice the Mauve. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Yes. Disgusting. <laughs> Until he dies, he will be Jonathan the Turquoise. This is Jonathan? No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> this is <laughs> Goliath, and uh, his name will be Kainuk Sin. Mm, nice. Kainuk Sin. Nuke. The Sin. Jedi name. Yeah. Ooh, That's yeah. a Saga Edition Star Wars. All right. So you guys have not known each other for a tremendous amount of time, but you're all sort of gathered together as adventurers, relying on each other's abilities. Maybe you, uh, maybe one of you posted a sign, looking for adventure, need friends now. <laughs> Lonely. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Lonely wizard seeks, <laughs> seeks adventure. <laughs> I don't think my guy can read. <laughs> He's just staring at that sign. Lon Lonely fragile wizard. Needs yeah. strong friends. Exactly. Needs strong friends. All right. And had a lot of pictures on it. Uh, but the wizard has made an acquaintance, a halfling woman by the name of Trillian Galloway. And uh, he has led the rest of you to her new residence in the city of Waterdeep, which is the biggest sort of coastal city along the uh, sword coast of the Forgotten Realms. And one of the things you need to know about Waterdeep is that it's built on top of a gigantic dungeon of ancient origin known as Undermountain. Sounds like a bad idea. Yes. Uh, the residence where you uh, were told to meet her looks like a dwarven structure, actually. So it's a little bit surprising to you. Uh, but when you knock on the door, you are greeted by this tiny little halfling woman. And standing behind her is this awesomely armored dwarf who has weapons up the wazoo. He's got a great sword over his back, a heavy flail tied to his belt. He's got no fewer than six swords, daggers in his boots and he's got uh, basically a sheaf of javelins over his shoulder. Is he laying on the ground unable to move? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of he's, so yes. he's also wearing a tremendous amount of armor, possibly, shame, possibly two suits of armor, you're not exactly sure. It's a double, a double but he just stands there with his arms crossed looking fierce, but the woman is all smiles, and she stares up at you, and she says, Oh, hello! Welcome! Uh, greetings. You're all so big. Yes. You in particular. <laughs> well, we, we are big. <laughs> we, are, we are friends of the little people. Uh, let's see. 
I'm John Dostomov, and these are the friends that I met on uh, yeah, Match Dot Parchment. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you found my notice then, that I need adventurers. Yes, yes. I must say, you're not the first to come by. I hope you'll be more successful than the last. Uh oh, no, that's never oh, good. Well. I think she you'll says, be pleasantly surprised. She sort of looks down both ends of the street and says, "Please come inside." Kind of skin scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, the place inside is kind of dreary, and there are boxes or crates everywhere, as well as some old furnishings that don't look like that they've seen much use recently. Whoever lived here previously moved out, and it doesn't look like she's really taken any effort to move in. And as you make your way through the house, uh, she stops at a table, and uh, on the middle of the table you see a big fat coin sack. Okay. She says, mm. now we're talking. That'll get me, that'll get me in there. This um, opportunity comes with some risk and I wanted to make sure that you felt good about it, so consider this a upfront payment. Well, nice now, meeting you, real. Are we splitting this yeah, we split evenly? <laughs> well, we should, we should come up with a business charter. <laughs> you know, be like, I originally put fees? up the notice and you know, we may not have all Come together. My alignment. Is, I'm unaligned. Apparently. So yes. let's talk. <laughs> I brought uh, some W nines. This will be all. <laughs> I, I work out of a corporation. <laughs> so, we immediately <laughs> set down to paperwork. <laughs> some, Absolutely. Some we find a corner. You sign your release form. We sign our release forms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dwarf will um, not really say anything as all of this happens, and then she says, "Oh, forgive me. I forgot to introduce Zarko. Um, he is my bodyguard." And he just sort of goes, mmm. I can do bigger than that, boys. Fine, stout, mm. honorable. I don't people. trust this guy. Just putting it out there. She says, what do you know about the Sentinel Shields? And you all sort of puzzle for a moment. Uh, I'd like at this time for everyone to make a history check. Your skills are in the bottom left-hand corner of your character sheet. Uh, there should be a line for history, and the number right in front of it is what you add to a d20 roll. All right. If you don't have a D20, or you don't know what one looks like, let me know. I don't know what it looks like. This is a D20. Thank you. Okay. And there's a number for history somewhere. So whenever you roll, just add your... And just uh, roll the uh, dice and add the number next to your history. 11. 20. So, so then... Oh, no. Right now, uh, <laughs> you don't have to write anything down. You can just, just tell them. Plus one. It's 13. It is. Blue so you, I'm a 12. 12 to 20. <laughs> All right. Is this my bonus? Is that That's your bonus. Yes, yeah. correct. My bonus so is add zero to two. Is two. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't really listening. Two. No, you're not making your bonus. The draw is like, why am I here again? Is zero. Something no. about a shield. So you add zero to two. <laughs> right. So I think you have your thumb in your mouth. All right. <laughs> 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 I don't write it. No, no, no. These have all been Just have to add numbers. Meanwhile, the money is now gone. All right. <laughs> and how did Ramrock do? Uh, he got uh, an so 11. That, okay. I don't need to write that down. No. You it just need to tell him. Nope. Anyway. <laughs> Not just for right do. now. <laughs> you're telling him you rolled a 2. It took I'm up sorry. a good I'll let you know exactly what What your 2 tells me is that you don't know Boo about the Sentinel Shields. Right. And that's okay because okay. you have your bard with you who rolled so a 20. So what you're saying is right. you've never played d, &D before. Uh, I don't know about these sentinel shields. That's Bards cool. travel the world. Bards pick up all sorts okay. of knowledge. Bard, you know that the sentinel shields are uh, three legendary relics entrusted to dwarves of the Malerkin clan, who were the builders of Undermountain. Basically, they, built, they had these three shields, they gave them to three of their champions, um, and the champions were essentially entombed with them. Uh, to which she adds, yes, and it was recently discovered by several mages in the city that these sh three shields are keys to a portal that lead to a vault deep in Under Mountain. Highly desired. And if I can find but one of them, it will be worth a small ransom in the undermarkets of Waterdeep. And it just so happens that the dwarven wizard who used to reside here hid a passageway that leads down to the tomb of the orc slayer, one of the three dwarves. Which one of us is an orc? Oh, I am stroking my beard. She says, the other two shields, the shield of the iron warlord and the shield of the heartless dwarf, I don't know where those two lie and they don't concern me, but if you can recover the shield of the orc slayer for me, I will be in your debt and will reward you handsomely. Handsomely. So you're just going to sell the shield if you find it? That is the plan, yes. You have no long-term evil strategy that you're lying to us about. Oh, my goodness, no. No, 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 no. Evil? No, I don't truck with evil. 
Uh, but if you doubt her, anybody who wants to can make an insight check. It's also listed in your skills. Um, it should be just below history. Yeah. You, anybody can if they want to. I got a seven. Insight is what you use to determine whether she's lying. Sixteen, sixteen, seven. Sixteen. I don't think Ranrock would care. No, he's he's not used to reading expressions or anything. Yeah. And the bard. Eight. Eight. All right. With the sixteens, you two are fairly confident she's on the up and up. She seems more. She doesn't seem like the type who's going to go down to into the depths of Undermountain herself. I believe herself. she means what she says. And you can see that Zarko is just eyeing you all kind of suspiciously. You seem like a rather odd lot. So does he. We did just insult his employer by <laughs> yes. asking if she was going to <laughs> use the shield for evil. Also, yeah. the coin sack is gone. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I do hope that you were discreet in coming here. I would certainly hate any of my rivals to know that what I found. I told no one. As for the previous group who descended down there, well, one of them came back screaming in terror and said that he wanted nothing more to do with me. His friends never returned. They probably are down there still. But the one who came back, is he, uh, what, what became of him? Last I saw of him was uh, his back end as he ran screaming out the door. Mm. But he was new. I'd love to pick his brain. Yes, mm. he said something about spiders. <sighs> Do we as a group want to talk about this? I think so. And maybe reconsider? <laughs> I <I'm hungry. laughs> <laughs> you, know, you are free to know. <laughs> this has been great. <laughs> he says, she says, the, the champions, the three dwarven champions, had their own troves that they sealed with them. Of course, I have no interest in any of that. I seek only the shield. I need interest in alchemical experiments. I, I need money. I need finances. We could, this is a great opportunity for us to build our, our name. We could, we could incorporate. We could become known the, the, the countryside over. I'm just pleased with random song and drink. So if you guys want to give me half the loot, I will do this. <laughs> half the loot? Half. Otherwise, I'm, I'm good to go. I say we split the loot evenly. Yes, mm. I'm just a big Goliath, but even I know that. <laughs> I'm with Jaundice. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I will do whatever I am terribly lonely. She says, well, in the interest in cementing our relationship, she snaps her fingers and you see Zarko produce a bottle of wine. Um, and uh, he lays out some tankards and pours drinks for all of you and the two of them. And uh, she uh, picks hers up and drinks from it, uh, doing so if only to allay any concerns that she might be drugging, poisoning, or otherwise. Uh, can, I, can, I drink from, can I drink from Zarko's cup? <laughs> if you put sure the poison can. in the glass. Certainly when you reach for his cup, he does not get in your way. Because <laughs> you are twice his height. Mm. Could I uh, do some sort of knowledge to, to um, you know, at the mention of spiders, if there's anything I might know about what we would need to defend ourselves from, from spider folk? Uh, yes, absolutely. Make a knowledge, uh, or sorry, a dungeoneering check in this case. Okay. Uh, I got a 21. Uh, when you start to ask a little bit about, or you sort of contemplate the types of spiders that might actually be lurking down underneath the city, based on reports and other adventuring reports and things that you've heard, uh, you think that basically they, other than being poisonous, they can just be smashed into a pulp with big weapons or blown to bits with spells. They're fairly rudimentary dungeon dwellers. All that, you know, saying, <laughs> yeah. look at that sword. We can take him. Yeah. Look at those feet. Do we have any defenses against uh, poison? Oh, um, just your fortitude defense. Um, but none of you don't have any uh, antitoxins or anything like that. Maybe we should spend several days shopping preparing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to just pre-order some stuff, and it'll be, it'll be here, here in a couple days. <laughs> Free two-day shit. Well, I'm going to drink, I'm gonna drink my wine. My wine. All right. It's not going to do anything to me. As well. Absolutely. Uh, actually, you do kind of feel a little bit tipsy oh, really? afterward. Yeah, <laughs> you're a little surprised by that. I learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Um, and she says, let me show you the back room. And when she takes you back there, you can see in what used to be an old bedroom, there is a large slab in the floor that has been basically pulled away, revealing a 
rather steep and crooked staircase digging down into the depths. So we're going right in, huh? <laughs> okay, we'll just go for it. Why not? We're here. Should me and Kevin go first? Since we are the... Who would like to lead? Who would like to blaze the trail? You are stealthy. Yeah. yeah. So I'll you could go way out in front? Trail. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. Stealthy drow. What was your name yes. again, Stealthy? Bluebell. Bluebell Blue came Bell. to play. I would like to volunteer the living wall of stone to go. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, I'll go second. All right. I'm going to have you guys put your figures on the map in this narrow descending passageway here in the order in which you want to go down. Blue That's Bell. Perfect. Blue Bell in the lead. Then maybe Blue Bell. Ranrock behind. I think Blue Bell has a couple spaces on us because he's being stealthy. Yeah, or does that matter? Should I, are, we, are we fearful of anything coming up from the rear? Because <laughs> I'd like to be second to last just to put a little meat behind me. Oh, I'll go last. <laughs> put a meat wall behind me. Because I'm in a robe. Safely in the middle and Trench entertaining middle. people with song. Excellent. I have the time. Well, you are very pleased that this staircase has remarkable acoustics. It's like your voice just descends for miles and then comes back to you. Um, and it sounds quite uh, entrancing. <laughs> when you get down to the bottom of the staircase, which was a little tough to navigate, but not for the likes of you, you see a crumbling corridor. Um, all of this stuff here is basically debris. Mm. And where the debris gets really thick, it can actually impair your movement. Um, but uh, you, with your astute uh, senses, mm -hmm. can make a perception check for me. Uh -huh. and that should be on your skill list as well. Uh, perception, five. Nice. Is it a 20 die? Yeah, All it's always skills? a 20. Um, six plus five. All right. With an 11, you can kind of discern what looks like some webbing over here and something hanging from the webs, almost like it's suspended from the ceiling. Mm. Your 11 is also enough to see what appears to be a dwarven face carved into the wall over here. Uh, I never noticed it. Near a set of iron doors. <laughs> uh, well, we're here for spiders. Maybe we should head toward... The web. <laughs> You're aware of spiders. <laughs> it would say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maybe it would say it's the exact opposite of it. <laughs> Get back over our priorities. Should, should we, uh, can, the, can the group hear me? Yeah, I guess because of the stairwell. I can shout back to you. Yep. Want to check out that stone face? Ace, ace, ace. <laughs> or the spider. Stone face, spiders. Stone I face. Would I might be related. Check out the stone all right. All right. <laughs> Are you, oh, you guys going to like huddle in the dark of the passageway here while right. he goes out on his own? Yeah. Love it. All right. Just sort of peer around the corner like Scooby and Shaggy and Velma and the rest yeah, of them. Right. Boink, and boink, 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 boink. <laughs> yeah. All right. When you go over to the face and you actually stand in front of it, it comes alive. Ooh. Ah. Roll yes. race. It opens its squinty eyes and looks at you and says, well, 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 what do we have here? A drow? Fred Sanford? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have not seen the likes of you in a long time. Please, sir. <laughs> a history of but two. <laughs> you don't need to make a check to see that uh, this talking dwarven face, apart from being animated, also has what appears to be a stud in its stone tongue, which is a glowing gem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what brings you up to these parts? It's well, promiscuous. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little high for you. We were going to check out spiders. We? <laughs> <laughs> we? <laughs> So much for still. Who else is there? I can't see any of them. In the dark, just like, oh. <laughs> Who sent you first? I, I mean the royal. Come on out, whoever you are. I have not had company in a long, long time. All right, guys, come over here. Ah. <laughs> All right, you sheepishly. Amble over. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I'm putting your guys wherever I want, but feel free to put yourself okay. wherever you want. When you make your way over, he sort of rolls his eyes to the side and takes a look at you and says, It is a pleasure to meet you all. I hope you are 
Fair better than the last crew who came through here. Bunch of amateurs. We're getting that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How many were in the last group? Five. I thought you said you hadn't had company a long, long time. <laughs> How long have you been here? Six hundred years at least. What do you May have lost track. What do you do while no one's here? How do you whittle away the long hours? He says, I'm one of the original builders of this place. My spirit is sort of trapped here, if you know what I mean. Do you need help? We could, oh. we could... No, no, this is great. Okay. <laughs> Gives me time to reflect. Yeah, you spiders? Oh, uh, I hear something from time to time. <laughs> That's the spiders. Then, yeah, sure. You they don't bother me, though. You always had that gem stud? What, this? <laughs> <laughs> he says, I'll tell you what. If you can answer... Three questions for me. Here we go, oh boy. Then I will give you my gem. What do you get out of the deal? He says he gets a taste again. <laughs> I don't have any needs at the present time, if you know what I mean. Thank God. <laughs> I am just, after all, a face. If, and if you were an architect of this place, um, could you tell us about any structural... Um, Good question. Uh, <laughs> you know... Uh, any, any, any structural uh, traps that might await us or any um, areas of, of, the, of the dungeon that might be I'm unsafe? He says, I could if I were so inclined. Hmm. We are great admirers. But let me first... <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the questions. Well, that will certainly place a lot of trust in me and you. I don't want to give out information to just anybody. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, do, let's do the questions, huh? All right. He says, you certainly don't look like just anybody. He says, all right, if you're ready, first question. When did Halister Blackcloak first arrive at Under Mountain? Oh. History check. Oh. 14. 13. 24. 12. Wait, 13. 13 plus, no, zero. And 24. <laughs> wow. 24 is a good nice. roll. Nice. First of all, you know that Halister Blackcloak was this infamous, powerful arch wizard who basically took over Under Mountain, filled it full of monsters because he was crazy, and basically he and his apprentices uh, shorted up, holed up there, and threw a bunch of treasures there and kind of made it his own, kind of this living dungeon environment. And you know that he arrived in 168. DR. What is... 168? You are right! You are right! Well done. <laughs> Second question. Here's a toughie. What is the current year? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to roll. You all know it is 1479. All right. The year was 1479. 1479. Really? <laughs> 1479. My, how time flies. All right, third and final question. My adventuresome folk. Now, you got an isosceles triangle. One of the sides is 168, oh, and one of the sides is 1479. What is the length of the third side? That's awesome. Okay. 1479. Well done. Nice work. Wow, Easy as pie. I forgot you must I have dwarven did. blood in your veins, my friend. Dwarven blood. Perhaps a drow does have dwarven <laughs> I bequeath unto you, sir, my gem. <laughs> <laughs> you, you take it. You gonna pluck you that try out? to pluck it out? Not with yeah. your finger. <laughs> it comes <laughs> out. He says, if you hurl that young gem to the ground and it breaks, something will come out and help you fight. Ooh, nice. Or we could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> this group. <laughs> sell it? Do we need to do it? Well, we need the help now. No, no, no. <laughs> no. <Hey. laughs> that thing appears awesome. like some centipede or something. You, you got a nice sizzly strike. <laughs> Wait for the answer, that ring. Can I attempt a little diplomacy to see if we can't get a little insight into the 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 um, architecture of the? You dungeon? sure can. Um, you know, please, friend, see reason. We uh, we would like the chance to do to fare better than our predecessors, and so I implore to you with a 21. 
spectacular. He says, well, the dungeon has shifted over time and some of the passageways are new. Those spiders over there, that's all new. I don't know what's over there. But behind these iron doors, you'll see a room that has iron drums in it. In the magical trap, the drums will summon some pretty terrible danger. But if you're as tough as you are smart, then I don't think it'll cause you much grief. I'm sure you can wit your way out of it. Okay. Once you get through that room, the room contained by the iron doors, there is a wide passageway that leads to the tomb. Okay. Sweet. I sketch a little map on parchment that looks yeah. very much like this. Exactly. <clears throat> Sweet. So, should we try to get through these iron doors? Or it looks like we can go through the spiders, or we can go through the iron doors. Is the face on the iron door? No, it's off on the wall to the side. Ask them if they're open. How, how do you get through these iron doors? Do you lock the door? He says, the doors are <laughs> magically locked, but if you are a draught in arcana or thievery, then surely they will pose no barrier. I think I have some thievery going on over here? Unless, of course, you have the key, which I doubt. Do, do, can we roll for key? <laughs> uh, no, you haven't found a key, to the best of your knowledge. All right, should we look for a key? Should we try to well, the pick that lock? Don't you have some sort of magic? <laughs> Doesn't one of us have this sort of ability? I'm a, I'm a wizard. He says, um, I used to have the key before I died and found myself here, imprinted on this wall in stone, a bas-relief. But, uh, the key is lost to me. Probably still lying around here somewhere. I bet those spiders Spider have it. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe it's hanging from the web. <laughs> As a shape that I saw <laughs> earlier and did That's not right. tell you guys about. I wish you all well. <laughs> I hope you'll find what you're looking for. Bye, stone face. I'm getting very sleepy. <laughs> Tom has a two, two thievery. thievery. He could try to... Should we try to get through those doors? Yeah, yeah let's give it a whirl. All right. All right. All and Bluebell. <laughs> All right. 17 plus 2, 19. Nicely done. All right. Uh, Bluebell fidgets with the locking mechanism, and you hear a loud click, uh, which signifies the doors have been breached. No spiders. Oh, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Bell's head goes tumbling. <laughs> when you uh, push the doors open, they squeal on old hinges, and you see the room beyond very much like that. There is a dais, basically a raised section with some steps leading up, and the dais is bare. Um, there are four iron drums set into the floor here, and behind them, giant dwarf statues with big hammers. I love the truth. <laughs> if, if we're tough, we could, we could wit our way out. Or if we're tough, we can... Why don't we try really carefully just to walk to the other doors? I, I, I love that. <laughs> what if we got through the whole thing with it? <laughs> the, other <laughs> thing, <laughs> the other thing you notice... That should be our new goal. The other thing you notice when uh, Bluebell opens the door is there's this sort of gust of very cold air. And the floor in there is... In fact, everything is glazed in ice. It's this a week. <laughs> it's very, very cold. Hmm. The floor, <laughs> the floor looks very slippery. Sorry. Very slippery. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm following you. Thank you so much. What would you like to do now? Is there already hanging stuff in here? Ah, oh, thanks. It's great. Dealings with cold abilities. Yeah, it's perfect. Hmm. Do you think we're, uh, Which, would they they get on the sheet? Well, you think we might get frozen? Uh, maybe uh, ice? You've all got things like torches and stuff like that. Um, you, none of you have anything to dispel cold. Doesn't sound like we need to. I was like, let's yeah. just try yeah. and walk. As long as we keep moving. I think we're good. <laughs> They're just what could go wrong? <laughs> you down for that? <laughs> We're just going to go across to the other door, Dan. Yeah. All right. Yeah? Yeah. I'm right behind someone. All right. Now, does Bluebell, do you still want to go first? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So Bluebell is leading the way. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a preference for where you're going? Straight across, around? Let's go straight across. Over 
Nothing's that probably happened. going on with that <laughs> dais. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on with the dais. I don't know. All right. Done Cross me on the dais. I just want to stay away from those giant hammers. When uh, Bluebell takes his first step on the dais. You can see that uh, the ceiling, by the way, is about 25 feet overhead and kind of vaulted, and there are icicles hanging from it, like the moisture came down through the roof and then froze. Uh, the dais kind of lights up with ruins. Uh, glyphs appear on the stone. Like, be, like Billy Jean. And at this point in time, you see ice begin to break away from the statues as they move oh, no. their hammers down and just pound on the iron drums. Uh, Maybe they're here to help. All right. <laughs> well, let's go back to the Toughness and wit. Toughness and wit. So at this point in time, I would like uh, to know everybody's fortitude defense because the sound of these drums is horrifically powerful thunderously loud and you can either look at your little cheat sheet card for a fort or you can look on your big character sheet 13 12, 12 16 17 15 all right i rolled a 14 on an attack roll so anybody who has a fortitude defense of higher than 14 is safe ah those of you oh, who have, have 12, those of you have 14 or lower, take five thunder damage. Ah, so that comes oh. off of your hit points. Years. Yes, and you are momentarily deafened. Oh. In addition, something materializes in the middle of the dais, and it looks exactly like this. Uh huh. We can use wow, that. Just awesome. like it's conjured out of nowhere, a gigantic dragon-headed ballista machine. Like you should hop on that. Yeah, machine. I'm gonna drive yeah. this thing through the, these dungeons. And uh, at this time, we are entering combat. So I'd like everybody to roll an initiative check. That is uh, a d20 roll plus a bonus. You can look at your little card cheat sheet for init. I n i t. It's under your uh, hit points and your speed. Is it also INT? Yeah. No, that's intelligence. Oh, that's intelligence, I'm sorry. No. So if it's on your big there. character sheet, no. it's uh, a little hard to 16? see. It's in the top left. Oh, top. in it, plus three. Yeah. There you go. Right, plus this one, right? Yeah, so, so it's a D20 roll plus that bonus. I've got a 15 in All right. it going on. So Bluebell rolls a 15. Steel diamond has 18. 18. Jaundice? Jaundice has 12. 12. Ranrock. Twelve. Twelve. And uh, Kai Nuksin. <laughs> Sixteen. All right. Uh, Steel Diamond, you are the first to go. Uh, Steel Diamond looks through his cards. Okay. And... Really... What is this, by the way? Thanks for asking. You're you all have a special card called Action Point. Once during the encounter, you can spend that card to get an extra action. So you like, could attack twice, for instance. On your turn, now that we're in combat, uh, for those of you who don't know, you can basically do three things on your turn. One is called a standard action, which is normally an attack. One is called a move action, which lets you move up to your speed. Most of you move about five or six squares. And the third is called a minor action, which is really only good for things like opening and closing doors, pulling something out of a backpack, really just incidental actions. And you can do those in any order. So you can move, attack, you can attack, move, you can pulse, you can draw a weapon, attack, move, that kind of thing. So, Steel Diamond is the first to go. So, is this like 3-5 where I can move and attack? Yes, movement? absolutely. Okay. So, in a mad rage, I'm ah! going to... <laughs> what are we fighting? You're on a hair trigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're fighting some sort of construct. Oh, we're fighting, oh, we're fighting that? Well, it's up to you. Nothing's moved yet. Uh, that's there's also, here. There's also here. the statues. The statues hit the um, ground. And you see the statues are just sort of pulling their hammers back. They look more like just uh, like machines, um, mechanical we things. Stop. We need to stop that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So. Can we just leave? <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't, I don't know what we're fighting. Can we just try to make, make it across this room and get out of here? <laughs> oh, to those other doors? Yeah. I you mean, you could run over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, you could. Just, if initiative say, was rolled, we're not the only ones who rolled it. 
I, I'm going to jump to take inappropriate conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Before you do that, do me a do me a favor. Because you moved uh, more than two squares, and this is not something you would know ahead of time, and the floor is ice, I need you to make an acrobatics check for me. So it's on your skill list near the top. A one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so when you, like an ace if you like a <laughs> When you get into this square, you go, whoa. <laughs> Uh, although you're prone, although you're prone, though it doesn't keep you from attacking. It just means that you're you take a penalty of minus two when you attack. All right, I'm gonna still swing that. All right, uh, you try to hit the statue in a place in order to disable it. Do I keep going when I fall? Because it's icy. Uh, kind of. You just kind of slide up against the uh, base of the statue. Uh, make an attack roll. Um, this is probably a basic attack for you. So on your character sheet. Uh, you should have where your weapon is listed. Do you see oh, that? Well, About basic, atta basic attacks. Yeah. Three. Okay. So I will oh, another one. Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> four total. Send the mate instantly. Don't worry, guys. Whoa. <laughs> they, don't, <laughs> they don't tactically know we've even attacked at this point, so <laughs> we can still we can still, we can still walk, walk out. And walk out. <laughs> All right. Too much to their amusement. When you are close enough to the statue to see, you can see it's sort of part of a trap in this room. Uh, it looks like it could be disabled by damaging it or by using like a thievery check to kind of disable it. Uh, you could also invoke ancient uh, arcane rituals to kind of deactivate it. So there are all kinds of ways to handle these things. Okay. Uh, after uh, Steel Diamond has his moment, <laughs> <laughs> it is the Goliath's turn. Yeah! What does that mean? It means that uh, you can move and attack if you want. Uh, if, if you attack. Since you're probably going to be hitting things with your greatsword a lot, uh, yes. you probably need to move up to them to hit them so that you're next sense. to them. Uh, you've already so seen, well, you've, you've heard the half-elf take a bit of a spill. Yes. Uh, once, you, <laughs> once you enter the room, if you move three squares or more, I'm going to have you make an acrobatics check to see if you can hold your feet. Okay. So, do I roll? Uh, for moving, you don't have to do anything except move your figure where you want to go, but your speed is limited to six squares. Okay. So, so maybe just go to the closest two, one. Three. Uh, should I go check him out? One, yeah. Five, six. Or can you, is there a way he can get next to it? Uh, next to the statue? Yeah. Or is, uh, he can't where he, he can't, be, No, right? because he's occupying that square. Right. Uh, so, it... You started here, if you yeah. went one, two, three, four, over the drum, uh, to here. Yeah, yeah, do let's that. do that. You could. Oh, okay. It's, uh, you can make a diagonal move, too. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah, well. yeah you totally good. could. But because you're going more than three squares on the ice, I'm going to have you make an acrobatics check. Uh, which do it. is plus zero. More comedy. More comedy. Ten. And that's enough. You get to where you need to be. <laughs> Skill I've ever nice. <laughs> <laughs> he says, looking oh, yeah. up from the ground. Uh, okay, then you have a couple choices at this point. You can either attack the statue or attack the drum. You don't want to attack the half elf. He's yeah. If you take out that drum, there won't be any more noise. <laughs> no one has instigated anything with us. <laughs> <laughs> why why do we even go over there? Get to the door. I no, that that banging hurts. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. That could take. Ten more turns before they do it again. We don't know. We were well, told you our they were welcoming us. us? Out of this <laughs> we did. We did. Um, so either the drum or the guy, right, or the uh, the L, uh, whatever he is. Yeah. We'll um, never disable all those drums before he they smash them again. We've got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, do I have to hit something? I don't know. But you, you got to You and I don't know anything. We're just like, you two are shouting this across the drum. <laughs> Listen, but keep in mind you're a, you're a barbarian. So what would your character do? He'd yes. probably hit the, this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's always the... You're not a fey little elf. He takes out yeah, his big greatsword. Ah! Now you're making an attack roll. Uh, your greatsword attack is a plus seven. All That's right. playing a roll. <laughs> Eight. So eight plus seven is fifteen. That's going to do it. And you do one d ten damage. Your d ten is here, and you add four to it. I'm sorry. So I. I yeah. So now you're rolling damage okay. to see how damage. much damage you do to the statue. Eight. Eight plus four twelve. is twelve. Uh, that damages the statue, but it still looks like it could still function. I'm sure it could. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yikes. It needs to take more than that. All right, All right and that's the Goliath's turn. On the next turn, it is Bluebell. Wow. Well. <laughs> Run. You, you are staring down this horde construct. I am. Now, I want to. I have six speed, so I'm just going to head this way. Okay. <laughs> I can't right. go through it, I take it. Correct. Can you I go diagonally? Go yes, you totally can. So, whoops. One, two, three. Stop. Once you get there, make an acrobatics check. Right. Me. That's... Uh, Seven. Ah, uh -huh. oh, you're doing uh, just fine. Plus ten is seventeen. Plenty. You can keep on moving. All right. That was three, <laughs> four, <laughs> five, six. six. All right. You get to the doors now. Normally, you've only spent a move action. It's a minor action to open the doors, um, but when you sort of test them, you can see that they are sealed. Right. Um, so, what would you like to do at this point? Uh. Do I get a sense of whether they're magically sealed or just stuck? Uh, they look like that they are uh, frozen shut. Aha! Let's see. It, you think that uh, it might take some force to open them. Or heat. Or heat. <laughs> Perhaps some dark fire. Perhaps some dark fire. Yeah. Uh, can I attack doors with dark fire? <laughs> Let me take a look at your card and see what it says. Okay. It says that the target has to be one creature, oh. and the doors do not qualify as a creature. Uh, what else do I got going on here? Mm -mm -mm. I had a scorching burst, but I don't think yeah you'd be caught in it. <laughs> it was a time to pull out my daily. <laughs> what, what is that one? Say? Jaws of the wolf. Oh, that's 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 usable against creatures to too. To bite at so. the door thusly. I hack at the door with my swords. Um, well, here's what I'm rocking. I got hit and run, hunter's quarry, shield of blades. You're of a mind based on the abilities that you have that. It would probably just take somebody strong using a strength check to try to power the doors open. Mm, okay. Um, or finding a way to melt them that is not readily apparent. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, you're pretty strong. Four is my you mod are plus half level. Plus four. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, you throw yourself up against the ice and it does not budge. <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. Next turn I'll get it. Uh, so that was a move action for you and a standard to basically throw your weight against the door. Uh -huh. um, so you're basically done at this point. All right. All right. Immediately after Bluebell goes, this thing activates. Uh-oh. And you see it kind of rolls about on wheels and kind of scopes things out. And the, the face of this thing kind of animates a little bit and says, You don't belong here. Oh, no. Get out and of here, And it will boy. spin around, spin around, spin around. <laughs> it will stop here. And then it will breathe flame, filling up this whole corner. Is that good? Am I under Where, you <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. You've got cover against wow, the flames. Wow, wow. Okay. Uh, it just shoots out this big fan of fire that engulfs the Goliath and partly the half-elf. So now I'm going to make an attack roll against each of you. First against the Goliath. This is going to be against your reflex defense, which on your little card here is 12. Well, you are not wait, the most guys. reflexy. That thing shoots fire. <laughs> we can so if we all had gathered by the door in the first place, it would have melted that door. that door. All right, then it uh, attacks you, but it rolled no, horribly. It only rolled a nine. Great. <laughs> so you duck out of the way of the flames. <laughs> Against the half-elf who's got cover, it rolled a uh, 14 minus tube for your cover is 12. Does 12 hit your reflex? Well, 12 is my reflex, so therefore I win. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that's not the way it works. Unfortunately not. You sort of peer around and get fire in your face. <laughs> what does that sound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. <laughs> uh, you take eight points of fire damage, and that comes off your hit points. So this is a bad day for this. <laughs> All right, and then it stops. And then the next... Uh, I feel a ballad coming on. <laughs> next is Jaundice the Mauve. Okay, so I just saw that happen. Yep. 
Um, all right, so my, my priorities have changed. Um, I'll take... I've seen my friends go sliding around, so... I'm going to take a sideways step and one into the room. Do any of us have um, flight, by the way? Have what? Just thinking out loud. If we oh, the wizard. Like float around this room. Then I have a know. floating disc ritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you've also got a cantrip called light, which you can like place on your staff or on another object. It's one of your blue cards. Oh, to create light. Yeah. So I can create light. How is the light in here, by the way? Is it only the light of the it's flame only, right now? It's pretty much the light of your torches. Okay. Um, and what were you saying about floating? I was just saying, you're going to have to roll that acrobatic <laughs> thing. You're going to end up like old steel diamond. I know. Skidding across the floor. I'm going to try a... Uh, I, I would like to... Can I, as a minor action, take a moment to look at that thing and try to discern something about it with, like, a dungeoneering or something? Have I ever seen Absolutely. something like this? Absolutely. Uh, either dungeoneering or arcana, whichever you prefer. Okay. Um, my arcana is plus 10 and my dungeoneering is 6, so I'll do take the 10. 25. Okay, uh, that's a fantastic roll. You know that this is an, what's called an arcane ballista. It's, it's an arcane a, ballista! It's a semi-sentient construct. And so it does have an intelligence, although it's probably evil. And uh, other than its ability to breathe fire, you think that it can be uh, commanded, if you know certain dwarven phrases. In the right spots. Uh, it yeah, can it also be deactivated, okay. and that requires either arcana checks or thievery checks made against it. It can't be reasoned with? It can't really be you, reasoned we need with. To get you it's over kind of programmed thing. to defend an area, and that's really all it does. Okay. Um, all right, so I was going to attack it, but let me see if I know, um, do I know Dwarven? Um, I guess, oh, no, I know Common and Draconic. Okay. So I don't know Dwarven, so that's out. But I yeah. recognize this as a magical thing, and I can attempt to use an arcana check to try to gain some magical control of it. Yes. All you right. think it might take more than one, but that's okay. So I point my staff, and I try to um, do what I can to wrestle control from it. And with an arcana check, it's 27. Okay, that is one success, which means you're close. You need uh, three more of those to basically take command of it. All right. I scream at my friends to steer clear of this thing. I'm trying to get control. Those of you who have thievery think that they could probably get in there if they're next to it and kind of jimmy with its mechanisms too to sort of control the direction it points better. Uh, in the interim, the, it is now... Stick your fingers in it! <laughs> Ranrock's turn. All right. Okay. Remember, if you move uh, three shake. or more squares, I'm going to have you... Right. Well, is there still ice over here that got blasted? Uh, yeah, the ice is pretty thick on the ground. Okay. Here. Speed of five. Well, I'm going to leave this gong show. <laughs> There's a lot. I'll probably look over at Bluebell and give a dismissive, disgusted look as he scrambles to open the door <laughs> and leave the team. This guy. <laughs> what makes the most sense? <laughs> <laughs> and I you think uh, the moi... We need a leader. He's got this. I'm, I'm going for this guy. One, two, three. Okay, make an acrobatics check. You're going to be okay. Oh, I have a minus four acrobatics. Oh, oh, wow. oh, I, got be, I, got <laughs> I got a 13. Unless. That's enough. Okay. You wow. slip inside a bit, but you get over there. Okay, wow. so I'm going to fumble and introduce my war hammer. Okay. What if I just pound it on the barrel? That's a great option. You think that if it can't sound the drum, then... Right, it, it but it might sound the impotent. drum. Um, but you could try to smash the drum. I think I'll go for the. Fist. You could also try to move the drum. Yeah. It doesn't look like these statues have any ability to. Oh. Oh. Adjust okay. there. I think I'm going to attack the statue. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm a. Way to attack these I'm, a, I'm, a, a, I'm a self-loathing statue. Uh, so you're probably making just a regular uh, weapon attack against mm -hmm. the statue. 11 plus 8, 19. That hits. Roll damage. 1d10 plus 5. Just 10? Uh, yeah. yeah. Or... Huh. Yeah. Oh, is that a 10? That's oh. a 10. 15. All right, you disabled that statue. All right. All right. Okay. Doing pretty good. Three to go. Move along. <laughs> That's all. 
Okay, we are back to Steel Diamond. <laughs> Standing up is a move action. Well, here I am, deaf on the floor, not knowing what's going on, burnt, but don't know why. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I'm going to stand up. Okay. And I am going to... Uh, Does he have to roll the stand up? No. Once again, swing my sword at the statue. Okay. He spends all his move points, though. Can I turn my head to watch what happens? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can yeah. I turn my head to watch? Well, I got a lucky seven this time. Is that including the attack that bonus? The bonus? All right, uh, you strike ineffectually. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I'm not good against immobile objects. Uh, make a, actually, right now, the Goli uh, Goliath and uh, um, Steel. <laughs> Steel. Could you guys make a perception check for me? Yes. Do you, you notice that part of the wall here is collapsed I'm behind the statue? I just want to see if you notice anything down there. No. Ten. The spider. Yeah, nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, you notice that some ways back over here, there looks to be like a skeleton hanging in a web. Mm -hmm. Sort of dangling down like a puppet. Hang on, Gaia. Everyone be quiet. Steel's talking. <laughs> and uh, Kainuk Sin, our You're master up. tactician. Oh so, oh, so now I'm. Yeah, you see that the statues have basically gone back to their fully upright position oh, now. No. Basically, it took them all of a round to do that. Mm -hmm. Get away from these statues. In. And that thing just. Breathe fire at you. Yep. You've got to be close to disabling that one, though. You are like yeah. my bad friend. <laughs> Come help me on the I door. I'm gonna go see Tom. <laughs> so gonna, all these statues so get disabled, <laughs> and you're still <laughs> dicking around with that door. Eight. We're gonna you're have some words. It. This one is now disabled too. All right, it's two down. Yep. And now I can go six, right? Yes. And I can go diagonal. After you go three, I'm gonna have you make a check. That's an acrobatics check. You get a plus a zero on the roll. Do, 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 do. That's enough. You can keep moving. All right. Your move. You got another three. You're skating. Four, five, six. There you go. All right. Hey, uh, now let's hope that thing attacks us. All next. right. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> but it's open at least. It is Bluebell the Drow's turn. And All then right, it, guys. Then it will be this thing's turn. So instead of, instead of fiddling with this thing, worry. you would rather get, sit there. I think we're going to get hit with some fire. I'm going to shoot fire at you. All right, let's try to take over this thing. It's well, on wheels. Maybe we can take yeah. it with us. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, I've got six. So I've got to go three and then roll for that acrobatic thing. Actually, yeah. I go three, one, two, three. And make your right acrobatics here. check. Uh, which is seven plus. Woo! Good catch. <laughs> seven plus 16. So. Uh, you're on your feet. No all problems right. at all. So I want to uh, uh, pick that lock. Okay. Or, or uh, mess with the machine. Yeah. Do a little. Make a drow thievery tinkering. check. Yeah. As you go in and tinker with the construct. Thievery is two <clears throat> plus six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What are you doing to me? <laughs> it says uh, you are, do not enjoy success. Mucking so, could have got those doors open, though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, this thing. Oh, here we go. Uh, looks like you're still the gonna get your catching the two of you oh, and the doors. And the doors. I'm feeling a tickle in its anus turns to see what was behind it. <laughs> what in the... Whoa! Okay, first, the drow. Uh, it rolls a 15 versus reflex. All right. What's your reflex defense uh, on your cheat sheet there? Fourteen. Get ya. The <laughs> don't I roll? Uh, no. When it's attacking, it's just comparing to your defenses. Mm -hmm. When you're attacking, do you're I have comparing to armor? static defenses? And it's gonna I'm that change hit you too based on <clears throat> spells or armor. All right. Things like that. Uh, you both take seven fire damage. So subtract that from your hit. Totally points. worth it. Now, did anything happen to the door? And the door also takes an automatic seven points of damage, and you see that the so ice is beginning to melt. Only but beginning. The, but the door has to take a certain amount of damage in order for the ice to be completely gone. Mm. Okay. All right. So the more damage it does to you guys, the more damage it also does to the door. But that's not necessarily a good thing. Okay. After it goes, it is Jaundice the Mauve's turn. 
All right, I'll t attempt another Arcana check to continue concentrating and get a hold of that thing. Uh, for a 17. Success. That is your second success. You need two more. Okay. Wow. Um, so I'm really just trying to that's concentrate. A, I don't that's know. a standard action. You still have a move action have if a you move, want to. But is, it, is it time for this? I think I'll stay put. Is that too early? That would give me an extra... <clears throat> Uh, standard action, yeah. right? Or move. You could uh, use that to do another attempt I to see what you're control saying. But, I don't if, know but that's once it. per game? Per... Uh, no, it's once every other encounter. You'll recharge it after the second oh, encounter. Oh, alright. Alright, there good, you go. Good advice. In my, in my head, I'm like, you know what I think uh, uh, Ramoth would have said? <laughs> <laughs> he would tell me to do that again. For a 22. Spectacular. You only need one more success now. I'm feeling good about this, guys! All right, and then we jump to Ranrock. Kevin, would you move me... Uh, of course. I'm, I'm going for this guy. You want to go straight? Yeah, I don't know if I can even get there. That's a, on top can of I get up on, Can I get up on the drum? You totally can get up on the drum. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Face that face. That's not where you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> the next time those hammers come down. It's, new. it's, new. it's called Bum. betting on yourself, gang. Uh, here's how you do uh, it. The rest of us won't get hurt. Uh, first of all, I need you to make an acrobatics check to cross the distance. Oh, no. So you may actually fall before you get there. Nine minus four oh. is a five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, After three, you just kind of go, you're here, right? So, yeah, I'm sorry to do three. Whoa. Oh, bet on All the right. wrong horse, gang. So, you slip and fall. <laughs> Would you What's say it was called? <laughs> bet bet on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a second move action to stand if you want. I think I will do that. And then you're done. Can I throw my javelin? You totally can. Oh, I would like uh, to. But that's, that would require a action point because. You, oh, because uh, I've already... You traded one of your... You traded your standard action, your attack action, for a second move to stand. We got gotcha. It. We got it. Um, right at the door. <laughs> <laughs> the door is weakened. Oh, no, it's just a piece of shorts. Listen, these guys are, these guys are <laughs> queuing up. You could also throw it at this thing if you wanted to try to damage it. But I, it's up to you. I, 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 I think we'll be using that thing, though, is how I feel. Okay. Um, I'm going... No, uh, I, I, I'm not going to do anything. Okay. What? what? <laughs> You're choosing to do no offense on well, anything? No, I would have to use. I would have to use this. And I'm I did sit this one out, boys. I don't. I just don't know what my chances are of disabling that thing with a javelin. So your solution was to move three spaces, <laughs> and fall, fall down, and get up again. <laughs> and, hope that, and, and that's like, called betting on yourself. It's like nothing happened. Uh, Real quick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody saw anything. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get some hit points back. Yes, you are. Equal seven of them. Mm -hmm. Why don't and you? And then I will get a plus two bonus to all defenses until you end start. Why don't you bust something? out yeah. that piccolo and sing us a jam? <laughs> <laughs> I assume these are songs. I'm doing something. Yes, you are. Give us a chart topper. <laughs> oh, it takes the good. It takes the bad. It takes you both seven hit points. The facts of life. <laughs> um, and then All right, I, that is a standard action for you, so you so have I'm a move action. I'm going to carefully now. move three squares this towards me. Like, I didn't know there was three. a bar. When you get there, make an acrobatic oh, two you squares. Two squares, then you're safe. I am tender. Yes. At this point in time, the mallets come down again. Oh. Oh. Good thing I wasn't there. And uh, two of them are disabled, so the sound isn't quite as potent as it used to be. Thank God. Uh, so, everybody in the room takes three thunder damage. You know what else takes three thunder damage? That door. <laughs> well, <let's... laughs> did, did that fire... Do we know if that fire did anything to that door? Uh, yes, yeah, it did. It did. It the did the door points. took the seven points as well, okay, and good. when it takes a certain amount of damage, the ice will be melted and you can go Beautiful. through. Uh, so, three damage for y'all. Uh, it comes off your hit points. Okay. Oh, instantly? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I have to make an attack versus your fortitudes. Um, so, miss the Goliath. You're fine, Goliath. Yeah. I got a 12. Uh, hit you. Okay. Missed you. Yeah, I get it. Oh, Missed you as well. I got and 17. Zeb, that hits you, actually. Have there been... So, three? So, yeah, three points. In the history of this game... <laughs> Like, are there crooked dungeon masters who pretend to be rolling behind their card? I'm sure. They know. Oh, they're just yeah, like, they have their yeah, favorites and their yeah. least favorites. 
They don't last too long, though, because their players basically hang them. Hmm. It feels like you're being gunned for. Yeah. Or being or being helped to. You know, the opposite is right. everything's so easy. It's like yeah. got to be right down the middle. And Pretty much. Do you suspect something? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I, I never, say I never have to cheat. I just realized I can see nothing of what's That's going true. on back there. Thanks to this tasteful dungeon I keep all my screen, monsters behind available here. at your local retail. <laughs> I keep all my monsters back here. Screens have come a long way, let me say. They have. They're pretty cool. I got all my tables and charts on here, too. So, Okay. Uh, it is now Bluebell's turn. No, I'm sorry. It's Kainuk Sin's turn. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, um, again, go to that door. It okay. took damage, but it, it's not. we don't know if it's open. It's not open currently. If you wanted to try to damage the door, you could damage it to make it easier to get through. Or you could just throw your shoulder up against it, ice and all, and just try to smash your way through. If I do anything, <laughs> the difference is <laughs> in one case you're making an attack roll to do damage to the door, in the other case you're making a strength check just to ignore damage and just go right through it. Strength check is harder. Up for a challenge, boys. <laughs> I see what we're trying to all right, check. you throw yourself up against the door. Ice and door. You got the right guy. You are, guy, you are yeah. the right guy to do this. Exactly. Okay. Do it. So your move. strength is you add four Eight to the roll. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, the door defies you. Damn door. <laughs> um, all right. What do we want to do here, gentlemen? Let's, let's act as a team for You're once. actually pretty smart. <laughs> um, you notice that there is a passage, like looks like part of the room collapsed here to create a tunnel that leads out. Mm. Um, oh. Screw that door. <laughs> uh, just something I mentioned. Maybe I should go over there and check that out. <laughs> so, we didn't have to... Guys, there's another way out if you guys want, guys. Thanks, Steel Diamond. The guys with the hammers and the flame-throwing mechanism and the frozen door <laughs> all mean nothing. Because there was just a, a hole that we could crawl out. <laughs> we so we will solve none of these problems. <laughs> we didn't know there was a door. Listen, I think we're going to avoid the spiders. I don't know. You don't know what's... The devil you of know, Of course, guys. you don't know where you're going. <laughs> 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 I think we can avoid the spiders, he says. So if I go three, do I check to see if I uh, fell? Uh, you didn't, actually. You moved one to get to the door. Okay. So And you hit it, so you're done. Oh, okay. Unless you want to spend an action point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that case, it is Bluebell's turn. Now, do we want to escape through that hole? What I, problem do I we need, as a I team want to solve? I in that <laughs> device. I, I, don't, I don't know that, that my character would hear you, but I think if we take out the other two drums, we don't have to worry about that deafness anymore. But that thing will still be shooting fire at us. I'm almost, I've right. almost got it. Yeah. In fact, it'll Unless be doing that sneaks up on me. Oh, <laughs> Next round, I think I can shut it down. <laughs> I have a pedia. Uh, uh, <laughs> Our only problem right now is the drums. Turn have to start over. Maybe we should get the fuck out of here. But if you can control it, I think I can do it. But I only get one chance. If we could take over that thing and bring us with, bring it with us, we could attack the spiders with it. We could, we could, fl we could flame through the door. We could flame the could wh whatever web cage. might be through there, and maybe ignite the webs and take out whatever's, or piss off whatever's so in there. So. You want me to keep working on that flamethrower? Or do you want me to attack hurt. a drum? Because I didn't have a lot of success last time. I'd take out a drum or work on the flamethrower. Work on the flamethrower. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So, Thievery 2. Did you take this out? Did this one get taken yeah, out? Yeah, I took it yeah, yeah, out. These two are both oh, out. Okay, right, right, right. Thievery 2. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 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 One of your thieves' tools breaks off his eye like oh, sweet oh, belly mutton. Yeah. Three years covered in butter. <laughs> I had fried oh, chicken dear. for lunch. The, the mad whims of fate. Uh, at this point in time, it will blast fire at you again and hitting the Goliath and the doors a second time. <laughs> it should have moved around to its butt again. Only the Goliath and the doors. Uh, it's going to hit uh, the. Well, actually. I'm under it, working on your it. Your reflex defense is. Uh, on your little pride <laughs> Is ref reflex? Yeah. yeah. 14. Okay, it's going to hit you, catch oh. you in its fiery blast. Uh, it's also going to hit the Goliath, and it's automatically going to hit the doors. So all y'all take nine fire damage. Mm. So I should track knife now, right? Yeah. Okay. And the ice on the doors have melted. Oh. 
Woohoo! You make your charred fingers can still get in there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, silver lining. Jaundice. <laughs> You're up. Uh, I'm still gonna try to take and finish controlling okay. this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a twenty-six. Success. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I command now. thee, stand down, curses. In control of the arcane ballista. And it is Ranrock's turn. Oh, you have a move action. Do you want to use that? Oh, move? I will. <clears throat> I will, um... Sashay. Move. One, two... I'm still stepping carefully. Is it three that I yeah, make an action three about? Is, three is where you make the roll. I'm going to just step, okay. step toward the drum. All right. Then uh, we come to Ranrock. Uh, so is the hammer down on the drum now? Can I still hop on the drum? Uh, you totally can hop on the drum. And you think it's going to take it around to get its hammer back up again before it falls back down. Okay, I'd like to try to get on the drone. All right, it's a move of three. <laughs> the good news is if you fail, you'll just sort of wipe out on top of the drum. <laughs> that was that perfect good. position. <laughs> <laughs> For the hammer to come okay, down. Okay, come on. Down. Feet be true. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I can attack from down there? You can. You're just at a penalty of minus two. <laughs> on my attack roll or on yeah, the damage? on the attack roll. That's so ominous. So I can attack from down there? <laughs> <laughs> on the ground? I attack it. Son of a... Nine. Uh, that does not damage the statue. And, uh, hmm. That will take us back to Steel Diamond. That is nuts. Really? Yeah. Well, I am going to see if I have a good attack so I can take out that... Fourth statue on my own. The question is, do I? I'm a bard, so I must. That's sarcasm. Uh, I'm going to try a shout of triumph. Okay. God, I'd love that drum to happen right now. <laughs> sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, I really liked it. That so sad. I guess I move first to get in range. Yep. You're five. You're five squares away from it. So if I move three, one, two, two, it's three squares yep. away, which is, would be range. Yep. Uh, let's see. What does it say? Uh, Under hit? Or it, okay, yeah. attack is charisma versus fortitude. Yep. Hit is 1d6 plus charisma modifier, which is for me is plus five. Okay. Thunder damage, so nice. it takes its own medicine. Nice. And then I push the target one square, which I don't know if that... That won't affect it because it's up against a wall. Okay. So... So is my two hit roll, my d20, gets that bonus, is what you're saying? Uh, yeah, in fact, it does sort of the math for you underneath the description of the text. There's sort of a line that says attack with a plus bonus, it should say. What? Let me point it out for you. From here? Near the bottom of the Near card. The bottom. Additional effects? Yeah, Above that. Above that, implement wand. Let's see. This is a tricky one. There it is. Yeah, where it says implement wand, it does the math for you. Plus five attack. Plus 1d6, plus 5 damage. Okay, so plus 5 attack. Yep. That's in addition to my other plus attack? Or no, uh, no that's, that's it. Yeah. All right, anyway. 16 plus other Hit. Now roll a d6 plus 5. Yeah. Roll high. A 6. Well done. Triumph. You deactivate it. It, right. Right. it shudders and cracks as the thunder energy washes over it and just sort of breaks Never apart. Stay with that last one. <laughs> <you're laughs> <my God. laughs> it's got my. <laughs> All right. Uh, it these things raise their hammers up, but they'll drop next round, and it is right High Nuke Sin's turn. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. All right. You're standing oh. be, be in front of the doors, the ice on which have melted away. Right. So that means maybe I can try it again, or you sure can. I need a little help over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you try it with a minor action, you see my balls, that the door fellas. is locked, just like these is ones. Is that the were. last? Uh, well, let me ask you. Drum? Yeah. yeah. Trying to think, it, is there anything to me going over and trying to wipe out that uh, last? I think we'll be you good. Could, it's a full success of the day. Yeah, that's. We that's take that, right. we take them all out. Let's all do right. It. Um, you move. I move my three. Right. Make a uh, acrobatics check after you move three. All right. One, two. Yep. Three. Four. <laughs> <laughs> the pencil stopped it, damn it. <laughs> uh, you're not in range to attack no, it there. No, I'm not. 
It's a lot. You could you could try you could try to kick the drum out of the way. Ram rock. Ram rock. You could try to kick the drum out of the way. Well, the drum's fine. He's blocking it, so. You know, him, you're in the stomach. So it's not gonna make a much noise. Uh, Bluebell. Let's open those doors. <laughs> Get away from the mouth. Make a uh, acrobatics check. We're the worst organized team ever. This is a shakedown. Seven plus nine. Success. You All slide right. over to the doors. So now no, no more ice on now it. Now it's right? just a thievery check to get through the lock. Just there's like a the thousand last orcs one. on the other side of that. Oh, there's <laughs> yeah, I know. Kill you. There's a lock as well. Uh, yes, there yeah, is. Yeah. This one was locked as well. Why were we throwing ourselves up against? Because <laughs> of the ice. Because you had to get through the ice first. Aha! All right, thievery two plus. Because <laughs> we're stupid. <laughs> plus nineteen. All right, click. It opens, and with a minor action, you can even open the doors. Jesus. When you do, you see a cold hallway, but it's not icy. Um, beyond, one corner has fallen away. Mm -hmm. So this is like a drop of about five feet, and then oh. there's another drop of about five feet oh. into some sort of natural cavern. Uh, I still have three moving spaces, right? Uh, a speed of you six. moved. You took a standard action to open the door, which ends that previous move. Mm -hmm. and, a minor so, and a minor to open the door, so you're done. All right. Well, you're welcome, fellas. <laughs> Well done. Well done. Thank you for inviting new doom. <laughs> okay. Uh, jaundice. Um, okay. Your mother um, didn't like you. She gave you that name. <laughs> so on that thing's initiative, can I do anything with it since it used to go before me? Uh, in fact, yes. You can basically command it. Okay, and it moves it, on wheels. It moves on wheels, and it can move and take a standard action just like oh, you guys can. Oh, it can move on its own. No, unfortunately, I can't have it flame <clears throat> this statue without hitting, without hitting you guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, send it in. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... I think we should send it back where we came and yeah. basically have it clear out. Well, you you see that it's, it's limited by its size because it's basically occupying a two-by-two two square. It doesn't move through narrow passages well. It goes through here just fine. But not there. But not there. So also goes forward. I tell him like, to get V behind me. Got it. Oh, Done. what's his movement? Uh, its move is five, so you One, can move it. Two, three, and it doesn't four, fall. It doesn't have to worry about the ice. Five. Okay. Great. And he's just I watching like our backs. Okay. And then my initiative, I'm going to step. One, two, and I think I'm going to have to make a... Well, I want to have range to this to try okay. to hit it with a, um, a thunder weave, but that's a close blast of three, so I don't think okay. I have range. Um, Come down here with us. No. I don't have range, so I'd have to keep moving, and my movement is, um... Hey, Dan. Sorry, where's my movement? Oh, it's, uh, Before you get right too deep here. into Speed. this. Speed. <laughs> Six. Six. So... <laughs> we, we went all the trouble over <laughs> I'm all about going to new places. Are you... And exploring new are things. Are you just going to send that thing off on but its this own? This is going to go off... <laughs> <laughs> and we never saw it again. It's watching our backs right now in case any spiders come, but I'd love to use it to clean house. Now, while the rest of us move forward, can that thing just kind of it move yes, by it itself, like blasting the shit out of yeah. everything behind us? And I'm us? all for that. All right. Um, all right, so I have to move three. Okay. If I'm going to get in close on this oh, thing. Your oh, my success. gosh. Wow. And um, now you can finish out the rest of your four. That's close enough, actually. You can okay. hit it from there. And it's a close burst. Yeah. Um, thunder weave. Hello. Thunder wave? Thunder wave, sorry. Yeah. You can pretty much blast it without hitting your friends. Okay, yeah. so I attempt to blast it. Oh! oh. Natural one on the no. big dumb red <laughs> die that I thought was going to be so cool and dramatic. There is a loud concussive blast of thunder that has wow. no impact at all on the statue. <laughs> These are lucky statues. All right. Uh, then it's Ranrock's turn. The hammer hasn't come down yet? Not, it's coming down right after you go. So. Oh, you so this lucky. is it. Well, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to stand. You, do, you hit better if you stand. You're at a minus two if you're prone. But I, I've got a plus eight. So I'm thinking, should I? You're just feeling good down there. Feel well, I, will I be able to stand and attack? Like yes. your oh, OK. Yeah, standing okay, is a move action. So. OK, yep. I will stand. You are on the drum. This could end badly. Let's make, Run, let's make this work. Oh. 22? Yes. Okay, Great, damage. 1d10 plus Will he 5. Succeed? Let's do this. Will he fail? 
Oh, I thought it was six. He gets to add a modifier to it. Oh, okay, six. Okay, you hurt it, but you don't destroy it. Ah. Uh, He's going to play the action point card. When you roll to, like, attack something, a natural 20 automatically hits and one always misses. (laughs) Everything hangs on this die roll. Will it succeed? Uh, Or am I taking this hammer in between the eyes? (laughs) Oh, 11? (laughs) <laughs> uh, give me my medicine I've earned All it right. Well he's still got to hit you So um, this is against your armor class as the big I, isn't, isn't that the only movement down. he can make? <laughs> yep You're perfectly lined yeah. up I'm completely lined <laughs> up like this, like, He's so happy right. he's like this never happens He rolled a natural one so you bring wow. your shield up over your head. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. And he must add one of these. Yeah. It just sort of deflects off of it, but okay. does not, in fact, Oof. hurt you. Uh, and that's it for him, and we are back to Steel Diamond. <laughs> um, like a radio show. Well, these guys seem to have that well in mind. <laughs> I'm going to poke my head in the hole and see if someone left a wall there or something. Sure. Uh, um, all about the money. You don't... Okay. Yeah. You're out of the ice. Uh, this is actually a difficult terrain, so it costs two squares to enter, but that's not a big deal. You have the movement. I'm just going to go in there and... Okay. Uh, you see what looks like a dwarven corpse hanging in the webs like a puppet. It's just this... Looks like it might have been a dwarven guard at one point who is long dead. Do you have, like, a hanging pocket? You can check his pockets. You see that he's, he's, his armor is all rusty and corroded, um, but that's really the least of your worries. Um, Beyond that, in the shadows of this small cave, you see a hulking monstrosity that looks just like that. (laughs) Dan. (laughs) And you can see it's this it's this big floating orb with all of these eye stalks and it, it I it's stuck. just sort of hovering there. Its central eye, though, is kind of hollowed out and empty, mm. and its fangs are all sort of yellow, discolored, and its black tongue is kind of hanging out of its mouth. Mm. It's not in good health. Can no. I roll to see if I know it's a dead beholder? Uh, absolutely. That would be a dungeoneering check. Four. I think it's a live cockroach. <laughs> it's a giant floating is ball it? of flesh. Is it floating? Yes. The beholder's floating or dead? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Hey guys, you're not gonna believe this. <laughs> At this point, big floating head with stalks and dead and stuff. It's probably just weak. Can we eat it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. not what? Uh, Behold your stalks. So at this point, you've only taken a move action and nothing else. So you could still either move back or move I'm forward. Back. I'm okay. back. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm, I'm going back. Uh, uh, seen can I see one, all I need one to more see square? You. Yep. Anywhere you want. Uh, Dragging me towards me. Got it. And I'm good. Those must be good spiders. <laughs> then it yeah. is Kainuk yeah. uh, Sim's turn. All right, I'm gonna just roast it. I'm taken down. <laughs> I need, I need you now. First of all, I gotta stand. That's a move action. And then it would take another move action to move adjacent to the thing. You which would not give you an attack. You'd have, to use, an have to use an action point if you wanted to. Do something you can throw? Something? You could also throw something, and you do. You what have a javelin. I know a javelin's going to take this guy down. I, well, I've done six it's to it. It's taken some so damage it might. already. It has taken it's, some It's not a bad, it's it's take not out a bad. The hammer. Your javelin will, if it hits, it'll do a d6 plus four, so it'll do up to ten points of damage, if it hits. Uh, and my other option, if, if I move closer to it, then I'm done. You're done. Move. Move. Your other Unless option you spend the action point. point. You can use your action point. To so you have to sacrifice right. that to do your melee. No, this no. is just... Can, can you aim your javelin at the handle of the hammer? Or the strap on the hammer? Can you ha- can you aim your javelin or just... That's kind of what you're doing when you're throwing it. You're trying to just hit it at the point where it'll do the most damage. All right. Well, should we go for that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. All right, first roll a d20 to see if you hit, and add uh, six. Sixteen, uh, seventeen. Hit. You get to roll damage. D6 My plus hero. Four. Well done. Nice. All right, the javelin goes right where you wanted to. Yes. The statue kind of sputters, drops its hammer, and is deactivated. We're done. Nice. Right. Right. Nice. You have totally conquered this room, and you've got an arcane ballista, which you didn't destroy. Very nicely done. We didn't even damage that thing, did we? I don't think so. Uh, no, you didn't do it. We just it. lost it. Once <laughs> <laughs> we set it free. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gosh, wasn't I'm it sending it out. That door? <laughs> 
Okay, shall we break here for food? Sure. Yeah, let's break. Right. Hooray! When we last left off. <laughs> Perfect. I had just opened the door. Yes, yes. and you had and just uh, else. conquered the room with the iron drums, and uh, Jaundice had taken over the arcane ballista. Yeah. Oh, and uh, the bard had discovered in the adjacent room a big floaty, yes. pus-filled thing. Mm. Nice. All right, whose turn? All right, uh, you guys are out of combat right now. The encounter has ended, which means that in order to get back some of your missing hit points, you can spend what are called healing surges. On your character sheet, uh, located about here, is uh, two boxes. One says surge value and one says surges per day. Mm, Your surge value is how many hit points you get back every time you spend a surge, Mm -hmm. and you have a certain number of those per day. Can we not do this during combat? uh, You have to do it outside of combat. So at the end of an encounter, you can spend one healing surge to get back that number of hit points. Uh, I don't know what it is for all of you. Yours is eight. Eight, Right. So you can spend as many. Do it now. If you've taken any damage, it's always wise to spend as many healing surges as you can to get back up to full. All right, all right. And you can't, you can't go above your maximum. Uh, your, thir- your full is 33. Okay. You can't go above your maximum. Right. The time when you decide to stop adventuring and go to rest is when you've run out of healing surges. Uh, you have no more juice to put yourself back up to the top. Mm. All right. I've got 11 of these babies. You do. For it. And you didn't take a lot of damage. No. Taking say. two surges. For sure. Although... <laughs> <laughs> You're lying down. Right. <laughs> do, do we roll? Uh, you don't have to roll. Uh, you just spend them. So, so surge value of six, and I have six of them. So every time you spend a healing surge, you get six hit points back. And you have six of them to spend. I better add three of these surges. Yeah. Okay. So guess what, guys? That place we thought were spiders, there's also some giant floating scary heads and some dead skeletons. I saw a human skeleton and a dwarf skeleton. Wow. The weird I, thing about the head is it didn't seem to respond to you in any way. It wasn't even responding. It, that happens in a lot. I, <laughs> we're looking for the three shields, yeah. the sh- yeah. and there's a shield of an orc slayer. That's the one you're looking for. I'm willing to bet oh, okay. that where the spiders are is not where the shields are. There was also or no. <laughs> Okay. That's that's because it seems all rubbly and crappy. Well, there might be some goodies, but we I would recommend we send the machine in there to clean house before we uh, be in two places mm-hmm. at once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, can the machine do remote control and just go? Or uh, you have to be in order to command it. You have to be within line of sight of it. But that's it. I mean, I could send it down, but I I mean, I definitely don't think we should split the party. Let us know when you're done. I'll be right here. <laughs> So you have several options. You can either investigate this area or clear it out, or you can go through the doors and then figure out where to go from there. Um, I'm up for where we go. Yeah, we could bring doors. that thing with us. Go through the doors. Going. We know what's down there. Yeah. Who knows what treasure you might be missing this. down over here? <laughs> 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 These look really hard to wow. penetrate, those doors. Wow. Well, can the um, missile, whatever the hell it's called, the, the dragon of, of wheels, yep. make that turn? Because it seems like one of the squares is cracked away. Uh, you... not sure. Hmm. What seems cracked away? Uh, yes. the hallway right, right there. He's working in places uh, where... Well, you know... Is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my, uh, my bardic senses <laughs> tell us <laughs> that we can't go that way. He just sends out sound echoes. Well, they come back. go down. You know, there's a, there's a little door, there's a room there. I mean, should we... should we just tear through here and try to get some treasure? Or do you guys want to press on? I think we should press on. We have a uh, right. zone. All right. That seems to be the vote, right? Yeah. Three to two. Unless. Clearly, you are not on board. Very well. Although I will say, if we can't get that cool uh, flamethrower thing through the hallway, we should go back and use it in the other room. That's that's my caveat. All right, I'm with you guys. I'm 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 here to okay. serve the party. So you want to turn your construct thing around and take it with you, or leave it where it is? I'll take it with. Okay. When you get through the doors to around here, you have a choice. You can either follow the masonry hallway where it widens, or you can drop down into this grotto and essentially follow a, the cavern. Uh, you see that it's cold here. There's some icicles hanging <laughs> off the roof of the cavern here. Uh, this hallway is adorned with uh, dwarven frescoes and mosaics uh, and looks a little bit more... Um, Enjoy those. Uh, now, if you were a shield, where would I be? you wouldn't hmm. be 
hanging in the marble hallway, you would be down in the grotto. What? 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 <laughs> if I was a shield, if I was a shield that was being. Uh, it all depends. Like if it's a. Am I being hidden? Wasn't or? it buried with the Malarkin dwarves? So wouldn't it be with oh, their um, or coffers or something? I didn't get that part. <laughs> <laughs> My if, if there was a briefing. <laughs> I think it was buried with their yeah. owners. Whenever in oh, our weekly okay. game we change elevation, it's usually disaster. But a black cloaked wizard did come in here and crazy shit up. That's since right, since true. then, so he could have done anything. So the grotto? That makes well, sense to me if it's buried. I forgot get, it was buried. We can't get the flamethrower uh, down that oh, crazy. Yes, we, we, can. we, we just can't get, get it back out. Down there. Well, that seems... Again, my vote is to not do that. Hef's grotto or the halls? Well, we're not to be able, supposed to be able to see what's here. Or the hallway, I should say. Okay, uh, you're right. Do stairwells lead to a new map? I'll follow you in the uh, you know from the dwarven face a little bit about this area, and you do know that there was a hall, some sort of regal hall there. That's about all it was able to tell you. As for staircases and stuff, you just don't know. Mm. A regal hall, like maybe a tomb hall? Hmm. But I'm saying, as someone who does not play this game, if you get to a stairwell, does there. then the map... Yes, there's a new piece of paper. Right. Often, yes. Places lead places. Yeah. Do we get action points back because we healed? Uh, you don't. If you spent them, you don't have them until you go through another encounter. encounter. If you still have yours, of course, you can so spend it. So at the start of another encounter or the start of the second encounter? At the, when you've completed two encounters, you get your action point back. Okay. So just to recap, we're looking for that <laughs> shield, and we yep. think the shield is buried. We, we think or we know the shield was buried with its owner. Uh, she, uh, Trillian, told you that it, is, it was entombed with its uh, owner. Well, you know what? I, since uh, Bluebell was yep. the one who was MVP for opening the doors, mm. more, better than anyone else could have done, I say we follow Bluebell's lead. All right, All right. Bluebell will make the final call. But let's say, <laughs> show of hands, who wants to go to the, uh, the ornate hallway that probably has central air? <laughs> <laughs> A little more comfortable. A refreshment stand. Do we want to find these shields or? What I've do you got guys shield say? vision. That's all I can see. All That's right. All Tunnel vision. All right. Yeah, I definitely want to stick to the quest line. Then let's, I guess it makes sense if the shields are buried with dwarves to go down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. To all the right. grotto. <laughs> all right. All right. Into the grotto. Uh, as you see on the map, there are these little lines with the hatches that indicate five foot elevations down. Uh, mm. So this is five feet lower than this. This is five feet lower than this, et cetera, and so forth. Um, when you get there, you don't see much. The grotto is a little bit icy, but not nearly as treacherous as the room you left. You don't have to make checks or anything like that. Mm. Uh, and climbing down doesn't seem particularly difficult. Mm -hmm. Might be a little bit more difficult climbing up. What skill would we use for climbing back up? Athletics. Mm. <sighs> I have great athletics. I've got pretty good. Well, well I got a zero, so I'm all set. Oh, I do <laughs> have good athletics. Conjure a floating disc. There's not a negative next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's acrobatics. And it's completely dark, so you're basically like relying on your torches. <laughs> All right, well, we got a flamethrower. Should the flamethrower go first and just clear stuff out? Well, that's the thing about your flamethrower. You're not convinced it can descend too well. Should we leave it up here watching our back? Sort of like pushing it. It's on up. wheels. We can leave it on the fence behind us. I can't, I don't think I can, can Tensor's floating disc support it? I don't think so. Yeah. No, the thing. too what small. What is it going to do us really leaving it behind? None. How is it going to protect us behind? But if we all push it, we can get it down there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like how you guys are stepping on our wizard's toes when he's the one that spent five turns freeing this son of a bitch. And you guys want to literally tumble it down these five foot, these five foot cliffs because there's no point in leaving him behind. That's my understanding that they're not steps. Ran it, only take. it only represents a decline. They are, in fact, steps. <laughs> <laughs> to, the, to, the, to the tune of five feet. Well, there you and go. you guys want to just roll this thing down. <laughs> well, now that we have all the info. Yeah. Do any of us have any sort of, uh, like, shoveling abilities where we could make a ramp? <laughs> My shoveling number. We could build up a ramp. Make a sort of lave. Yeah. Because anyone's uh, equipment includes a ramp. <laughs> Let's lay some planks down. <laughs> Listen, let's just I'm, I'm not doing manual labor other than getting We got along just fine I without the flamethrower. Can I use rope to tie off the back and lower it down uh, a step at a time? 
You think so? It's it's time consuming, but not particularly you know arduous. So it takes some effort, but we can lower it down. Let's go down first. If we find we need it, we maybe can come back. Leave it up here. I'm like pointing outward. It's like going into war. And you've and got an awesome tank. tank. But eh. so we'll leave the tank here. <laughs> if we when we get, we need to lower it by rope or leave it. When we're going, or do we just want to go in the hallway? What if the so we when we get to the end of this podcast weapon. and we don't have a fucking shield? <laughs> I want you guys to remember how much landscaping we did just so this flamethrower could follow us into the grotto. And I, I hope you well, guys are proud of yourselves. This. Do we still want to go to the grotto since we since this? Can <laughs> so we're doing we're basing our entire strategy. <laughs> on this semi-sentient flamethrower. When, well, when did he become maybe, the most important maybe, member of our team? Listen, it, it, said, it, it, said, it said buried with the guy, but so, maybe it's a, a nice tomb in a, in, a, in a very marble, nice... For one thing, don't badmouth that flamethrower. <laughs> I, I like that member of the team better than I like you. He's way more useful. That's what I'm all you do, all you do is walk three squares and trip and fall. I ask it of its of its abilities and and where it I came from. Burn things. And where who built you and commanded you previous to me? Torak Iron Mantle. Ta- Torak. We mm. could ask him if he knows about the shield. Hmm. Do you know anything of the um, Malarkin dwarves and their shields? Torak was one of them. Oh. Mm. He's like the face. Does he know where Torak is laid to rest? He is not laid here. This is the tomb of the Orc Slayer. Right. Oh, right. Have you seen any shields recently? No. How you fixed for stairs? <laughs> <laughs> I do not deal with stairs well. Mm. If we're not in this grotto in five seconds. <laughs> I am laying I down. He just I am said, laying down for a nap. He just said he doesn't take stairs well. So let's, let us just leave it there and go just down the grotto. I hate you all. <laughs> You've been a pal. We spent so much time getting you. You've been a real scion. You've been a real straight up guy, and you were worth the action point. We didn't even get to use it once. <laughs> Oh, we had such grand plans of it laying waste to everything in our path and just waltzing through, but nope. Could have cleaned up spiders and... All right, so you position it so it's kind of pointed down that tunnel like, there, yeah. and uh, you begin your descent down the grotto. Why not activate it once for fun, just down the hall? Let's <laughs> <laughs> see what we hit. Burn the hall. <laughs> yeah. Done. So right. who's, who's you know going? that it's blast area. It's got a five by. He can blast out in a five by five square five in front of it. So. so if you put his mouth here, would it? Would this funnel it, or would it just uh, still no, be five? No, it would just sort of fill that area. So marching order down the grotto. Yeah. Who's first? Who's I'll go first because uh, I'm. I'm the dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's I'll scope thing. it out. All right. So the rest of you are kind of camped up at the top while uh, the drow. Oh, he scopes it out. Love it. All right. You don't have to make any checks to descend. Like I say, that's pretty simple. Uh, you can keep going through here. Uh, when you get down here, you start to see it becomes a little bit colder, a little bit icier, a few more icicles on the roof. Um, I'd like you to make a perception check to see if you notice anything. That's under your skill list. A perception of five. That's it. So roll a d20 and add five. Five plus five. All right. Uh, all seems quiet. This place does not... It looks like it was naturally formed probably through earthquakes and whatnot, and uh, hasn't seen any passage recently. So, after all that discussion, there's actually nothing down. <laughs> <laughs> Although it does continue on off the map. I, I'm sure it's more of the same. <laughs> <laughs> How cool you about that Why don't you go peek in there? I saw all right. it. Other way. <laughs> now, does everyone else have to move, or can I just keep we're, moving? We're waiting for you. We'll, we'll right, wait here. here. You want to keep going and make yeah, sure yeah, the rest of the way is clean? Okay. When you no, get like here, uh, something... Line whips past you very, very fast. It swoops past you, actually. And as it goes past, you see it's got great bat-like wings and a long tail that ends with this sort of flat blade. Mm -hmm. And uh, it flies past you and slashes at you with that blade. And the creature looks just like this. How's it going down there, Bluebell? It rolled a 22 against your armor class, your AC. Um, 
I have 18 and 16. Then it hit you with that tail. All right. And it hits you for 10 damage. Oh. oh. Can we hear his cries? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, we got to get down there again. And then, other direction right now. <laughs> and then after it hits you, it keeps moving oh. and flies back oh, up to the roof. Now we've the pond. <laughs> so it is up on the roof, out of sight. Oh. Oh. Okay. Except to you, you can see it. But it is out of your sword range. And it's about 20 a... feet above. Uh, you may have on the right side of your character sheet, sort of in the middle, there is a list of your weapons. Scimitar and longbow. There you go. Longbow, you got a longbow, baby. Did right. you find the shield yet? <laughs> I'm going to longbow that guy. I bet he wishes All right. he had him. So, uh, at this point in time, I'd like everybody right to roll now. initiative. That will determine the order in which we go. If you've uh, forgotten where it is, it's both on your cheat sheet under I-N-I-T. And uh, we'll start with Kainuk Sin. Seven. All right. Ranrock. Fourteen. Bluebell. Four. Ooh. Steel Diamond. Four. No, no. Four. We got we to roll up a tie. Oh, okay. Please do. I'm a 19. I'm a 12. Yeah, All right, so Steel four. Diamond goes first. Jaundice. I'm a one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yes. Okay. Well, the bad news is that this thing comes diving down from the ceiling again, uh -oh. slashes at you with its tail, and flies back up to the ceiling over here. Me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're the one who's heard this thing. It's not even my turn. It <laughs> hasn't gotten there yet. Uh, it hits you again for another 10. Oh. Oh. Fellas. Who said grotto? <laughs> Listen, I did not say grotto. I begged you to let I, me go down there. It's not even more of a cat cave. Then it clings up on the ceiling and sort of nestles itself among the icicles. And it is now Ranrock's turn. Okay. Putting our petty squabbles aside. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to... Uh, I, I want to get my... Or do I need to get my javelin out, or can I just attack with it when I, if I get close? Enough? If you get close enough, you can just attack with it. You can draw it as you move. Uh, I'm going to draw it as I move. Okay. And do, do I, does this stuff slow me down? Uh, nothing. Hopping down does not slow you down in any way. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Make do a I... perception check to okay. see if you can see it. It hides well. Um, six. No, you don't see it at all. <laughs> 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 all right, so you, now, you do have an ability, all of you do, which is called readied actions, which is if you want to, you can basically hold your attack and say, under this situation, I attack. Okay. So you can say, when I see the creature, I yeah, hurl my javelin. I, yeah, I, I will have my javelin at the ready, okay. and I, I am going to be scanning the roof for this thing, and as soon as it shows right. itself, I will hurl my javelin. Awesome. The Goliath goes next. All right. So we're all heading down here. <laughs> Might as well. Um, I forget. I just go my yeah. six. Yeah. All right. We got the one, two, three, four, five. The arcane ballista says, good riddance. <laughs> <laughs> now, am I looking for it? Do I see it? Uh, you can make a perception check. Your perception bonus is five. Five. You do. I see it. Yes, which means if you have a ranged attack, which you do, you can attack it. I do. Yeah, 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 yeah I hit that thing. javelin. All right. Same guy, right? You whip it up to the ceiling. And... Yeah! Nine. Plus... Oh, wait, what do, uh, Six for the javelin, right? Oh, yeah. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 15. Okay. Uh, 15 does not hit it. Is there any place you'd rather be? Ooh, the it's the ceiling. 15, we might be in trouble. It comes and uh, falls back to the ground. I have it still? Uh, you have other javelins. Okay. <laughs> you know, in retrospect, why would there even be an ornate hall unless there was something That's in it? Saying. <laughs> I was saying it's a tomb. It's like this ornate thing with like. <laughs> they would have buried it in the. <laughs> Is that too proper? Steel <laughs> diamonds. Dirt. Save us. Crazy cave. Is that you or your loss of blood talking? <laughs> There's um, a hole in the ground. I'm going to remember all the times Blue Balls, whatever his name is, <laughs> screamed and wonder, two, three, four, five, and I am going to use my majestic word. Okay, excellent. Uh, effect, the target, mm -hmm. I guess that'll be Blue Balls, 
can spend a healing surge and regain additional hit points equal to your charisma modifier, which is plus five. You also slide the target one square. Hmm. So good news is you get hit points, bad news is I'm pushing you down the hall. <laughs> well, with a slide, monitor. you could also pull him back if you wanted to. Oh, I'll pull you towards me. Yeah. Oh, good. So, so, uh, so you get back your healing surge value, which you said was six, yeah. plus bonus five hit points from him, so you get 11 hit points back. Great. Uh, Thank you, you and you, Simon. Yeah, and, and, help from your friends. And uh, subtract one of your healing surges. So, me? Yeah. I think it's you. Yeah. If so I now I have two surges left. Okay. But I'm up to 17. Hits. Well done. Perfect. All right. See, that's and how you work as a team. Guys. Hot on the heels of Steel Diamond comes Bluebell the Drow. And you can see that creature. Yes, and I'm taking it out right. Descend once again. <laughs> I want to use Jaws of the Wolf. <laughs> okay, that, I believe, is a melee attack. So I can't use it. But you could ready an action to use it when it came... Within striking distance well, of you. Let's not be foolish here. Uh, dire Wolverine Strike seems to be a melee. melee. Most of yours are because. Dark Fire. You are. Oh. Striker? Yeah, he's a striker. Uh. <clears throat> if you ready it, it's like putting a. Um, it's, it's, it's like getting ready to trigger something. If the conditions are met, then you get it like to interrupt. What if I cast Cloud of Darkness? Wow. Okay. Which would. Blind the creature entirely. From us? <laughs> From everything. Is and we can then launch attacks into this cloud. Is blinding a bat like creature? Can I see that card just to see what the possibilities are? Yeah, yeah maybe it just uses some. Let's see. So it is a close burst one, which means it's centered on you and it radiates out from you in squares around one. So the darkness, oh dear. The darkness originates around you, but it does have benefits um, that remain in place until the end of your next turn. The cloud blocks line of sight, so the creature would not be able to see you. Squares within it are totally obscured, and creatures entirely within it are blinded until they exit. So it's probably best for you to have this effect go off and have none of your friends around right. nearby. Well, but they could easily move out of the area, too. But we couldn't so. see it at it, and it couldn't see it at us. Yeah. It's like the big exactly. ladder beast of trowel yeah. for Douglas Adams fans. Darkfire is a ranged 10. Mm -hmm. Can I just launch it at that creature? Yeah, I think so. And this ability, let's see what it does. Uh, when you hit with this attack until the end of your next turn, all attacks against the target have combat advantage. That means everybody gets a plus two to hit it. Yeah. Nice. Um, We're going to need it. And the target cannot benefit from invisibility or concealment, which is what it's got now. Uh -huh. So. Nice. In order to hit it, it's a... Uh, you add four to your die roll, and it's against its reflex defense. Okay. So I roll the 20 again? Yeah. All of these other dice useless? I, you know, <laughs> yes, I correct. I've only used this one die the whole game. The other dice are for Until damage Until you start hitting stuff. with your swords, and then that will change. Until you start dealing damage. Uh, well, actually, when he says roll d20, he means roll 20 dice. <laughs> <laughs> I will get to that. 16. Yeah. All right. Uh, you hit it. So all the things that uh, you want to happen, do. It is now easier. It's lit up by dark fire, which means you can see it now. So your ready to action can go off. Oh, sweet. And uh, it is easier to hit. <laughs> Everyone gets that plus two? Yep. But didn't do any actual damage to it. Correct. Basically, that ability just enables others to damage it. All right. Well, you're all welcome. Thank, Thank you. you all right. Um, I'm so, blue bell. Uh, 17. That hits. 1d6 plus 5. Don't mind if I do. Nine points of damage All with right. the javelin. That wounds it. Mm, good start. And uh, let's see, that was Bluebell's turn, so we're back at the top. No, we're down to Jaundice. Does that, was that my turn, or was that a... Uh, I'm, yes. That, okay. yeah, you essentially had taken your turn, held your action, and now that action's uh, passed. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I give this wacky thing a... Slap on the rump. <laughs> and I say, shine on you, crazy diamond. Don't you go changing. And I uh, cast light. I'll be right here if you need me. I, I just might. I cast light on the tip of my staff. <laughs> and I descend into darkness one. Yes. Is there a we all keep descending into darkness? <laughs> I mean, we're fighting After this my friends. dragon, but can't we just... Go and say we've all made a mistake. We should have gone down to Dorado. What are we gaining down here? We gotta leave just enough time at the end of the session to run <laughs> exactly. all the way back out. 
six to get in this right. cozy little corner over here. You see purple yeah, Sam, fire. How's this going for y'all? Purple oh, fire is encasing this bat-like creature clinging to the ceiling. Oh, goodness. That thing's the problem up there. Okay. Mm. So I did a standard to cast light, I believe, so I think I'm done. Okay. Oh, no, it's a minor. That's it's a minor, so you still have a standard action. As my stand standard, so I say, oh, that's what we're shooting at? Yeah. Well, let me, uh, let me cast a ray of enfeeblement on that Ooh. on that guy, and I point my staff and see if this ray enfeebles right. anyone. Uh, rolling a... Um, gosh, this is my first ranged attack. Yes, it is. Um, sorry, so my bonus... It should be on the card near the bottom, sort of uh, above the bottom box there. It should kind of do the math for you. Okay. Oh, plus five. Okay, yep. 15 to hit. Uh, that's against which defense? Um, versus fortitude. Okay. That, in fact, does. <clears throat> okay, great. So uh, D10 plus five damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's 11 damage. Ooh. Okay. And um, it tells me that that is... Uh, uh, five of that is necrotic for okay. what it's worth yep. and the target is weakened until the end of uh, my next turn okay what that means is anything that's weakened deals half damage when it hits mm. all of its damage is halved nice. uh, you'll also be pleased to know I that, that the wizard after unleashing this blast of energy from his staff uh, also bloodied this creature which is to say that it has taken slightly more than half of its hit points and damage hmm. all right and now it re comes down from its perch. It is going to swoop. Could somebody throw me the bat? So I don't have to throw. <laughs> and it'll swoop down. It will attack that the boy. warforged and then swoop to here and perch on the ceiling. Mm. Uh, it is able to move and make an attack during its move as it goes. Uh, and Nasty business. Yes. It will roll. It is. It only rolled an 11 versus AC. So what is your armor class? Your ar My AC? armor class it's also on your cheat is card. 20. Okay, so it swung its blade-like tail at you and missed, bounced off your shield. Sweet. And we come to Ranrock. Once again, Ooh. it's clinging to the ceiling. It's out of the ceiling? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn. I have, a sec I have two javelins. It is I've totally screwing you guys up because it's not getting within range of your melee attacks. I will throw my second <laughs> javelin. Okay. Um, it is, you still got your plus two. Oh, cool. It's still glowing. Plus two. So that is a 28. Yes. Trying to assume hits. For seven points of damage. Okay. Well done. It bleeds. And then we follow up with uh, Kai Nuxin. Well, it's bleeding. Is going down. <laughs> it's going in that direction that I think we should all be heading anyway. <laughs> I think I will move closer to it okay. and attack. And <laughs> when you're going up uh, a ledge, yeah. it costs an extra square of movement. Ah, that's all right. I have that. I'm going to go here. Okay. It is right. still out of your reach with the sword. Re uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But I'll go javelin. Okay. All right. Good javelin. Good um, javelin. I think I'm going to add the what to it when I roll it? Uh, here is your javelin oh, that's right. benefit. Getting a six. six. Okay, here we go. Come on, come on. Taking this down. Sixteen. Uh, and that's against its... That would normally miss, but thanks to the dark fire, you hit. Yeah. Oh. Good. So now All I right. See how we... Yeah, and it's D6 plus four. Whoa. Nice. Six. So that's a ten? Ten damage. Okay, this thing uh, stutters, sort of flaps its wings a bit, and looks like it's on the verge of death, mm. but clings by the barest thread. Mm. <laughs> now, I like this. Maybe it's and, the only uh, the reason. <laughs> <laughs> that takes us to Steel Diamond. Who did it work for? It might know where that shield is. <laughs> well, I'm going to take aim at that thread he's clinging by. Oh, well. Uh, I have something called Misdirected Mark, a yeah. range of 10. Okay. Uh, the secret died with the bat creature. <laughs> uh, Which, if you think, we've just come in here and insulted and attacked everything we've come into. Nothing has attacked us first. That's not well, true. What about those drums? Okay. 
This is charisma versus reflex, whatever that is. Welcome yeah. drone. Uh, <laughs> welcome drone. Oh, we're shooting and killing everything. This guy lives in here peacefully for thousands of years. Our rage is based solely on bad acoustics. <laughs> is, oh, God, that's so loud. It's a plus five attack, yeah. 1d8 plus five damage. Okay, great. So my attack roll is a 15. Uh, something for dark fires. And you said that's versus reflex? Yes. Yeah, that would normally miss, but its reflex is 17 with the plus two for dark fire. You hit it. Hooray! Mm. And 1d8. Yeah. <clears throat> that's excited. That put that seven down. plus five is 12 points of damage. All right, you kill it. It yeah. falls yeah. into a with a. With a <laughs> It's the ground with a horrific splat. We just killed this. Oh, it no. does not look a friendly in any way, shape, or form. Above. Oh, why did you do that? <laughs> Daddy? Yeah, Daddy, Daddy, are you okay? Daddy. Bluebell's throat it was though. dark. It could have been an accident. <laughs> it came, if, it, if something came into your house, would you not strike out and try to get it? Okay, you totally own the Shadow Hunter bat. I say after that kind of investment, we keep going down the road. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that way we spend all this yeah. time. All right. We, if it's nothing but more bad creatures. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, once you continue on down past the map, I'm just going to clear this off. If you guys could oh uh, move your figures to the side. Uh, Oops. Yay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we have to get through seven more of these by four or <laughs> You guys are coming down through here instead of there, because you made that choice. Yep. A little respect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your other dudes? Oh, sorry. Yep. And I'm, there I'm right there. <laughs> <laughs> Leading away. Throwing yourself into the arms of Ranrock. All right, guys. I okay. Got this. <laughs> no. this has never not worked out for me. The grotto is still going down. There's another ledge here. There's another ledge here. But you see it's slick ice at these points here. And <laughs> you, you've been good about this. You see that it end, the grotto sort of ends into a chamber. Like it's just sort of collapsed. Like part of the floor collapsed there. Uh, and uh, again, another five-foot drop. It's a ten-foot drop. Um, okay. Actually, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Ooh. It's 20 foot oh. drop here. So once you get down to the bottom, you're going to be looking up 20 feet to the floor. Is that a hallway that leaves the room? This is the hallway that probably oh, so connects down, with the, the Regal Hall mm. um, that you guys decided not to explore. Which we could have easily which is fine. rolled through. You also notice from this point of view that this ice down here in the bottom is... There's stuff under it. Like grave. If only we had an apparatus. Holy! <laughs> <laughs> Should we go back and around? I say yes. Right here. Yep. There's no we reason. Said, I also can cast scorching flame. flame. Yeah, do we all have to go yeah. to the blue just Send John us back to get that flamethrower, come through the hall, drop it into that icy cavern. But, but that hall is going to have its challenge. Have its own. <laughs> 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 I've been doing this before. We don't know. I can cast a scorching burst that affects. Um, um, area burst one within ten squares. So is that a square I target and then ten within it? Yeah. Okay. Well, before we possibly find well, it. No, it's area burst one, so it's one square and then one within it, but you can cast it out to ten squares away. Oh, I understand. Okay. Before yeah. we possibly free a bunch of, like, z zombie yeti that want to eat us because they're trapped in the ice, why don't we try to see what's in there? Mm, perception. perception. Who's got the best perception? Or do, do we, we all to, roll it? Do we have to get close to it first? Or can we? Yeah. Might as well I'll roll it, right? Well, uh, yeah, if you're basically on the edge here, you can get a closer look. Yeah, same uh, marching water. I got a 16 for perception. All right, perception checks all around. Got an 8. 9. 13. Okay. Uh, you can see that the ice here is a skin, a fairly thick one, that covers water underneath. And through this skin of ice, you can see a pair of gigantic doors seem to be lying like they were torn off their hinges and fell in here, probably when this area <laughs> collapsed. Like they might have blocked this oh, at right, one point right, and right. then they went in. Uh, and uh, let's see, other than the doors under the ice, you don't see anything. So we don't need to concern ourselves with anything down there. So good thing we didn't bring the flamethrower. Yeah. 
Right? We just need to get up out of this and so we can go in there and get the shield. From your point of view, when you sort of look up into this great room, it's a towering, domed, uh, vaulted structure, obviously a room of great importance. And you can see what look like little clouds of bluish, almost gas or miasma kind of floating around. Oh, wow. Um, but that's all you can really see at this vantage point. So did we go through some sort of portal in time and space? Because it seems like we went down 20 feet only to line up with a hallway there, we passed we, by. Yeah, no, you've been going this down. Is the, this th is the big cliff, though. Yeah, essentially the hallway stayed level. You guys have kept going down, down, five down. Five feet at a time, five, oh, ten, yeah. fifteen. Oh, we're beneath. Yes, yeah, yeah, so you're going to climb up. Yes, yeah, so you're actually yeah. you have to climb up now. Now I get it. And um, there is supposedly a portal. I had something about that. Anyway. You know that the shields, the three shields together, are supposed to oh, yeah, that's be right. able to unlock a, portal. unlock a portal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but the place is deathly silent. Well, I stand at the back and I'm like, well, up, up the ice. <laughs> like, this is what you wanted. <laughs> okay. I must have a rope. I want to see some asses climbing. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll Who would like to be the first to venture out onto the ice? And also curse that wizards only get robes. It's so freezing <laughs> in here. I'll try to climb it with an ac acrobatic check, I believe it is. Uh, athletics. Athletics. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I rolled an, an eight. Okay. So I'm sure I'm fine. I have an eight. <laughs> uh, is there a particular point along the here where you'd like to climb up? Uh, just the center. I want to see my friends get up before I go running in. Like here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, you're having some trouble and are unable to get up the uh, icy oh, sides of this it. pit. Um, Ready? You're going in two. All right. Three plus eight. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Uh, you are also experiencing some difficulty in getting okay, up. Okay, let, let Daddy in here. He's... When you step out there, you hear crack. Oh, <laughs> no. Nice. And then uh, I need uh, I need all three of you to make a. <laughs> I need all three of you to make either. <laughs> Daddy's been drinking again. Daddy and You weigh like six hundred pounds. So. <laughs> What am I rolling? You, uh, you, can, you can either make an athletics check to hang on to the, the wall, uh -huh. or, or you can make an acrobatics check to try to get out of the area. Do I have that option, or do I have to do an you, acrobatics? You, all three of you do. I'm okay. doing... So either athletics... Acrobatics. I'm going to do athletics, obviously, because... Okay. Seven plus 17. Success. You did... I'm sorry, acrobatics? Yeah. Okay, so you wanted to get out of there. Yep. I rolled a 10. Oh, I wanted to go up. Oh, then that's can athletics. <laughs> out of the uh, out of the cavern? Uh, no, because you have to use athletics to climb. Hmm. So choices, choices, choices. Can I, I'm going to re-roll okay. for um, athletics then. You could also apply that same roll to your athletics if you want. I will then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. 8 plus 17. All right. Uh, you're able to climb up? Yep. I'll just hang out there. I'm going to try to climb up as well. Okay. With my great bonus of zero no matter what I do. 13. Lucky number 13? It is lucky for you. Yay. You get up. Uh, you rolled a 10 <laughs> on athletics? Okay. You get to there, you claw for the uh, <laughs> wall. It's, it's too slick. And the, when the ice breaks, you go into the water. <laughs> and you take some cold damage. Just leave me, boys. <laughs> you, you, take, you take 12 points of cold damage. Oh. That comes off your points. And you are now in the ice cold water. Frost has bite. <laughs> uh, all right. Pull you up at uh, six hundred pounds. <clears throat> yeah, you're kind of just down there. Uh, what would the other two of you like to do? Just no. hang out, applaud. I mean, what does <laughs> have some sort of this here now? At this point in time, the ice is broken. The ice is basically <laughs> broken. So the only thing you could do is try to use athletics to cling to like a side of a wall and edge your way around. Toss me a hand or the hilt of your sword. <laughs> I, I went over it. <laughs> or, <laughs> or you can reach in and help him pull his uh, metal ass out of there. Are negative one. My, I have zero oh. acrobatics. The other two of you see okay. several interesting things. <laughs> oh, oh no. These little things mm -hmm. are the clouds. They are these weird, eldritch, magical clouds of bluish gas that seem to glow and almost kind of give the room a bit of an illumination. You also see in the middle of a magic circle inscribed on the floor, uh, looks pretty much just like that, is a standing sarcophagus made out of various precious metals. There we go. Flanking the sarcophagus are two 
stone claws that come up out of the floor and serve almost like vats holding treasure. Oops. Oh. Not spiders, treasure. Maybe the clouds will help us carry the treasure. Yes. Now, the walls of the room, you see, have basically held up pretty well over time, except toward the back where parts of them have collapsed and these vents have broken in. You can also see that the, wall, the stone on the walls are set with bones, hundreds and hundreds of bones of what looked to be dead orcs. Mm -hmm. oh. Hence, the orc slayer. We may be here. Yeah. We're fine. Yes. Uh, but you see no, not, no living creatures other than yourselves. Uh, so let me get back to Jongdis and uh, well, Kai. Well, we decided we should probably help Ranrock. <laughs> 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 I'm going to probably use a rope, but uh, this tensor's floating disc I keep reading about, is that just to carry um, miscellaneous small items? It can't carry the weight of a uh, it, person? It could carry the weight of a person, but you have to, I think you have to cast it adjacent to you. Um, you're okay. not currently adjacent to him. So I can't use it to help him. Okay. Not so I think you want to try our rope thing? Yeah. Do right. you guys have a rope? Yep. He has it. You, you all have adventuring, basic adventuring stuff. gear, I yep. assume I got. Yeah, it's I have a long adventurer's kit. <laughs> Ow. So we'll tie off a rope to his long sword so that the two of us can get a grip yeah, on that yeah, sword yeah. and together hopefully... Uh, yeah, I love all right. sound for you. I love it. So you are going to start your turn in the cold again. So you take some more cold damage to the tune of nine points. You might be oh. losing them. Now, is, am I in battle with this water? <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, can I use one of my healing surges or am I... Uh, in fact, you could use a healing surge and okay. see if you can do both. They could make a loop. So, just, yeah, because I've got it around. This is what, when you spend a healing surge, uh, it's called using your second wind. Uh, you have a second wind card. Uh huh. And uh, basically, you play that card and it's used up. Mm hmm. Okay. Otherwise, the only other way you can get healing surges back is if you have a cleric who heals you and, or grants you the ability to use a healing surge, or you have a generous bard who has an ability that lets you activate a healing surge. Well, so much for that. So, if you spend your second wind. <laughs> It's gone for this encounter. For this encounter with yeah. the cold water. I have a quick for this question. room. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's probably worth I've got to use it. I've yeah. got, I've got okay. six hit points left. That uh, ray of enfeeblement I used against the bat was an encounter power, so I um, can't use that again until a fresh. Uh, this encounter. is a new encounter technically, so you get it back. Okay. And so this Which is our second encounter. Which reminds me, now that you've had your second encounter, you all get an action point back if you spent it. Sweet. Uh, if you didn't spend your previous one, you've actually got two. Wow. Uh -huh. uh, and if you took any damage from the bat and you want to spend healing surges, you can do that now. I think you were the only one who got slashed by but you the can bat. But you can only you've use only one got, at a time? Uh, well, outside of combat, you can use as many as you like. I'm going to drop a healing surge on myself. You know how in movies one more. Outside of an cool. encounter, I mean. Okay, so my in... You're in, in an encounter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we counted there's for that a little bit. Us, there's two of us. With the rope, you have no trouble... You have no trouble pulling the Warforged out with the aid of his own strength. And really? Strength. Yes. Whew, thanks, Don't you worry about it. About what happened yeah. back there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so keep this between the three of us. The ice is now broken up, and it gets us up to you and me to finish the quest. And then we stop Let's just go over that sort of coffee, get the shield get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll just be back here pretending to be cool. <laughs> <laughs> or is there, should we bring the rest of our team up, because there's bound to be some horror. That's <laughs> You can certainly inspect the area a little bit more closely if you want to. Too. I'll uh, do a little perception. All right. Uh, five plus seven. I'll perceive as well. Twelve. Let me use a Ten. white one. Ten. Okay. I've got I'm twelve. Good. Just for fun. Oh, you can see that, that the sarcophagus that has one. some arcane oh, runes yeah. worked into it, as well as several locks on it. Oh. Uh, you think getting it open is so a bit of a... locks, you said? Locks, yeah. Getting it open is a bit of a skill challenge for those of you who have arcana or thievery. Um, mm. there's, there's obviously some magic pulsing through the circle that surrounds it. Mm. It's probably a defensive thing. That's uh, interesting, the wizards. Can either of you, or both, kind of either or both of you can make an arcana check as well. Ooh, I have a little bit of arcana numbers. I have zero arcana. You can still try if you 24. want. 24. Wow. Check <clears throat> that shit out. 10. Totally arcana. With your perception, by the way, you realize, yeah, that's real gold in those clawed hands. We just uh, lost the your <laughs> arcana check is really... <laughs> He's gone. Leave the friends. Take the money. You think that there's 
if somebody tries to cross this or interfere with it, uh, it could trigger some effect, a magical yeah. effect. I'm going to keep that to myself. You do know with an arcana Ooh. check, though, that there are ways to disable this arcane circle using arcana. If you look at the runes etched in there, there's a whole bunch of dwarven glyphs. You're not sharing that. It in? may be possible to use thievery to scratch some of them out and ruin the, ruin the glyph, the, the circle that way. Uh, mm -hmm. It may be possible to use something like history to discern which of the glyphs actually are the source of the circle's power and which aren't and bypass it that well, way. I'm first going to walk over to that pot of gold. All right. As a bard, uh, I mean money. Yeah, you see within the claw, just full of what looks to be almost like offering. Uh, an offering made to obviously the guy who's entombed here. Poke it with my longsword and see if the claw closes or some scary shit like that. Why don't you make an offering? Offer. Uh, uh, the gold the gold you, you sort of stir the gold around and nothing adverse happens. I was going to say your arcana check also reveals that these cold uh, little miasma clouds, they're actually kind of helpful. They're not. They're sort of an after effect of some magic that was cast here. Almost, they're not meant to be here. But if you stand in one, you can channel the power of that cold energy through your attacks and deal extra cold damage. Mm. Hey, yeah, guys, so if you stand in the blue stuff, it helps with this channeling. So that you share. Yes. Hey, did, you, did you learn anything about <laughs> here? Did you, did you learn anything about that circle around the... There wasn't Their involved. voices just sort of carry an echo. Did you have a They're apparently alive. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, and neither of you two have to make perception checks to hear... Uh, as the voices kind of echo around the room, a sound that sounds like... Is that you? It's a sleeping dragon. Someone's got a, a baseball card? It sounds like, sounds like rapidly flapping wings or something. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wings. He said uh, somebody has a baseball card in their spokes. <laughs> <laughs> now... I love that, where so your head went. This is going to be a disaster unless the rest of our team can get up here. Sure, no. <laughs> I'm call us. Richie Rich back and get a rope down to this or something. But nothing happens when you stir the gems, and the claw looks fairly rigid. Should I tie off a rope up here you guys to help you guys help climb up? The uh, yeah, that'd be great. I could use the help uh, climbing. Why don't I help? I'm certainly willing to press. You could probably take. You probably have things like pitons or something. You could hammer. One okay. into the ground, tie a rope off, oh, and then uh, let me drag one of you guys make up. Make a zip line. Is there a hole in the ice, or the, uh, the ice just sort of kind of all kind of broke, broke away? So it's just sort of floating bits of ice now. How to bring again? Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had too many donuts. At lunch. <laughs> I'm gonna bring. Well, uh, I can also cast the floating disc finally adjacent yes. to me, and maybe st use that in to go across. But um, yeah. I think you can only take me. One. me. Yeah. You're the lightest, too. So anyway. All right. John, this, you're coming. That's up. one problem solved. I don't know what you guys are going to do. <laughs> I'm going to... He's like Magneto when I Yeah. Oh, he made it I'm up. I'm like He-Man in the Masters. He's using his tensor floating yeah. disc. Can oh. You send a disc back to take the other guy? Can I try to bring up... Um, uh, can, I jump on that disc, travel, and can, then can Coily goes... Over the side. I gotta look it up. Pyramid. Okay, so <laughs> you've of, you fastened a rope on your are you side. Sure you're not just reading your character class. Did you name your own guy? Yeah. yeah. Kynuxin? Kynuxin. Kynuxin. <laughs> I'm gonna bring Kynuxin up. <laughs> so All right. I was gonna say <laughs> So, <laughs> just a little bit of. Just, what's the, what's the sort of physics behind <laughs> this? You're tying a rope off? So I'm tying a rope around him so that I can drag <laughs> him up. So, you're gonna pull him through the water? And yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's What's happening? I, I've tied a rope around you. Oh, Lordy. You've tied it around your waist. Then I'm going to pull. Look how much heavier I am. He's going to pull you into the water. <laughs> he'll, okay. You'll basically be trolling him through three squares of water to get to the edge of the cliff, and then you'll be pulling him up. Okay. Oh, wait, that water has a cold it's effect. It's 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 what if I threw a rope down? He hammered it into his the ground on his end. I hammered it into the ground on my end, well, and he can just shimmy up. Before yep. you do that, that idea. you hammer that could work. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, jaundice. I noticed with my arcane senses that I apparently have that if you stand in those things, you get extra cold power or some shit. Oh. Do you think if you stood in there, you could refreeze the water and help 
these guys walk across. Well, my Archon of 22 corroborates this theory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, if you, make an, you think if you make an attack while standing in one of those things, you get to roll extra cold damage okay. as a result of that attack. That Very good, which would imply that, that, that something in here is hopefully vulnerable to cold. Or it's a trick. Okay, Sounds I good. You, you may not have mentioned it, but I also think if somebody were to cross through that that room, <laughs> that could it be just, bad news. It just seemed to me. You didn't notice that. Anyway, oh, yeah. Kainuk Sin is coming up. <laughs> yep. Because we've done the rope trick. Okay. No problem. Once you secure the rope, it's automatic success. All right. Thank you. All right. Ah, thank, thank you. Good job. You're welcome. You're welcome. Again, I'd like to move past what happened. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these are adding up. These are adding up. You are the only one harmed, so they get over it quickly, I'm sure. All right, now you can all see the room. With the There's orcs. money in here? Piles of money. <laughs> Buckets that's of money. That's what we're looking for. Wait a minute. Um, that's, the, that's the extra stipend that you get mm, for all your hard we, work. We need to do some serious looking at this... This yes. guy. Yeah. I'm sure there's nothing to know about that. So let everybody well, know, don't cross the room if you can help it just yet. We it's covered in locks. Right. I think I have that information. And, and gems that might be able to get picked out. In order to get those locks open, you'll have to be standing next to the sarcophagus. Uh -huh. Now, oh, is there anything, sure. any reason we can't get next to that sarcophagus? I don't know of any reason. Does anybody here know any reason? I read on the internet that if you cross rooms like that, it could be bad. So you can scratch them out. You can uh, fill them in, you can do other things to them, but probably don't cross them just yeah. yet. That being said, I'm going to take some of the gold. Okay. When you scoop out the gold, you hear a cracking, you hear this sort of weird crackling noise all around the room. And uh, it's then that you realize that the bones in the walls are dislodging themselves. Put the gold back. <laughs> Too late. Put the candle Monterey Jack sauce and cheese, and now we're all. Yeah, exactly. Everybody can roll initiative. <laughs> You're welcome. Well played. Is well played. I'm pulling a lever that said don't pull. <laughs> Somebody's got to be that guy. Ten. Initiative is three. Eighteen. So you guys Eighteen. Go Steel is three. Blue belt? Uh, oh, we're doing uh, yeah, initiative? Yeah, initiative. Uh, <laughs> one plus three. Four. Oh my gosh. Jondas. Thirteen. All right. As these things rip themselves out of the wall, uh -oh. they take this form. Mm. Oh my yeah. god. Bring them on! Nope. This is what we came here for. Some good combat. Yep. That's what I'm made for. I think we have one of him. Jesus Christ, how many of these? <laughs> Probably really weak. Oh my gosh. What if they're just like valets? What if they're very friendly? <laughs> who Can we want like ask if they're friendly before we go <laughs> smashing everybody to pieces? Let us help you carry that gold adventure. <laughs> we have come to liberate all slain orcs! Right. Wrongfully taken down by the orc slayer! We do all have diplomacy. The eleven orc skeletons rip themselves out of the walls. Uh, assemble kind of in, they sort of fall out in heaps and then kind of assemble where they stand and uh, draw from their rib cages these rusty, nasty looking swords. I will attempt to bluff on my initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow. Ranrock, you are the first to go. Okay, I'm going to use my passing attack because I believe I, I can run by this guy and attack him on my way to attack this guy. Yeah. Which is what that does. Um, is that all I do? I just yeah, let me take a look, see if there's all anything right, else get in there. Plus two to my right. Uh, it says here. What do we got here? Um, that you make an attack and you can shift one square and then make another attack um, against a creature other than the target. Oh, I can only shift but one square. But it's only one square shift. Okay, then I'm not. So you probably want to wait. Save that till when they're closer. Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna turn. All right, this run up good. and smash him in the head. Yeah. Uh, you probably have some green at will powers that might be helpful. Cleave, not so much. Tide of iron, enough. you can hit and push the guy, but you know whatever. Yeah. What's the other one you got there? I might mark. Uh, I don't even know if I want to mark him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Got, okay. I think that's. 
Yeah. It never hurts to mark the guy. That way, if right, anybody else... Because I can use that as many times yeah. as I want. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I'll mark this guy. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Sc- to swing my war hammer at him with with nary a word. Hi, fellas. Welcome to the <laughs> seventeen. Seventeen. Let me get my shit together here. All right. Uh, seventeen is a hit. When you hit him, he explodes. Oh. Oh. Uh, you, I will tell you now, uh, for those who don't know, that uh, there, are ga- there are monsters in the game called minions. And minions are one-hit guys. They go down as soon as you These hit them at all. These do seem to be minions. Right. So any hit will... Any hit which does damage will take one down. In other words, free gold. I'm going to yell to Jondis that maybe he should work on the runes. While, I, but that's just a suggestion. While <laughs> I'm going to yell yeah, a suggestion. Yeah. bigger boys tear through these minions, because I'm liking the taste. This is over first, bigger but... boys. <laughs> All right. That's, I'm just making a suggestion verbally. All right. I am just a giant statue. No one listens to what I have to say. <laughs> uh, next, we have uh, Jaundice, as it happens. Okay. Um... So reminding everyone that uh, where there's a minion, there's someone controlling them. I step lively toward the rune, okay. three spaces there, and I um, I end my movement there to to take a look at it and use um, you know whatever knowledge I can of how I might either discern exactly what this does or avoid triggering it. Okay, you think that uh, well, first make an arcana check. Okay just to suss out the situation. Not a hard one. Okay, it's 14. Okay, you think that this is a, a really complicated bit of work here. Uh, there are a number of ruins sort of among the many ruins on here that sort of tell you what it is, and then there are other ruins on here that are actually the source of the power. Okay. And you can kind of, with some future checks, you can make arcana checks to try to disable this thing. But one thing you do know is that it's partly a summoning circle, which is to say that if you do something wrong, something, something could be appears. summoned. Okay. Uh, and it's also a defensive circle. You think that this entire area could spring up with some kind of magical energy protecting the sarcophagus if somebody tries to get too close to it. Okay, mm-hmm. so there's an offensive summon and a defensive yeah. shield of sorts. Um, I guess I will bend down, and until things get hairy, I will a- attempt to um, disable the runes one by one, starting with the summoning. Okay. Um, this is what we call part of a skill challenge, which means, like you did with in the other room, you need a certain number of skill successes. Okay. So but if you get three failures, then it's game over, man. Game over. Okay. That means that you might set it off accidentally. Okay. Understood. Uh, just so you know, the magic number is six successes before three failures. All right. With a quick prayer to my deity, Kazif. You are not the only one who can participate in this. Anybody with Arcana can. You also think that somebody with a good history check could also ascertain which ruins are Students the of history and Arcana, join me in my task. Thievery could also be used to, dis- to disfigure a ruin. Negative one. If you, have, if you have thievery, you can try to disfigure some of the ruins. And we're ruin trying spell. to successfully reconfigure six ruins before... You're essentially... Yeah, that's it. You have to either disable or uh, magically deactivate the six runes before you accidentally set off three of them. Well, if you guys could keep these things off me, and if no any, problem. unless anybody has a significant arcana or history that can help. Uh, I have an arcana of five, but uh, then no one is protecting your flank over here. Right. And there's that gold. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to yeah. say, like, that really <laughs> comes into play. True, true. All right, I'll make the arcana check. All right. Of um, 25. Wow. Stunning success. Can you guesstimate how, what the check needs to be with your uh, amazing knowledge of stuff? What do you mean? Like to, well, that would be like my character wouldn't have a concept of... Uh, you, have a, you have a vague concept. Of, this is a fairly challenging circle. Uh, oh, you, you, you certainly... Like you certainly yeah, exactly. Oh. Uh, you think it's somewhere probably between 15 and 20. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, you described it as really complex. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, and if you fail one, the whole thing... 
If you fail three, oh. you're allowed. Six to succeed, three, three to fail to trigger. All right. Uh, then so we've got uh, Kainuk Sin. Well, let's start taking down these minions. All right. Where do you want to start? Well, I'm closest to this one over here. Mm. Yep. So what do we go? I'll just go right next to it. Do I have to? I can be right here, right? Yeah. <coughs> okay. This might be an interesting ability for you. It's called Recuperating Strike. Okay. Uh, basically, it says you make an attack. If the attack hits, you deal damage and you gain temporary hit points equal to your con modifier. It's like hit points above and beyond your normal. You still okay. have your bow out. Any damage you take comes off you those first. Do I use these up though? Because these guys seem to go This is an at will power, so you don't use it up at all. Beautiful. So okay. I'll do that. So here's the number you add to your roll, and that's what you do if you hit. Not that it's relevant against this guy, because he's going to go down so with a hit. Add this to the roll. Yeah. Yeah. 19, 19 is a hit. He shatters. <laughs> and you get four hit points. Bonus. Whoa. Uh, here's your hit point, hit point total, 33. You can keep track of that somewhere okay. on the sheet if you want. And now you've got an extra four. Okay. All right. Destroyed. You hear the flapping of wings again. And then, oh, spilling dude. out through the vents in the walls are a bunch of creatures that look like this. Jeez. Oh, they so have cool. four sets of wings and a long pointed proboscis. Graboids. That's Graboids. <laughs> That's an awesome movie. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they come spilling out in a horrid wave. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to here. Another one will go to here. Uh, see, I'm paying the price. Yeah, there you go. Karma birds. Exactly. Exactly. They seem to ignore the skeletons because they it's like to food. suck blood. Sturge. Sturge. I think we just uh, mm, change our focus. Yeah. Those minions don't seem to be doing anybody any trouble whatsoever. <laughs> And All the right. minions have an attack it. one single time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they, these horrid, horrid, blood-sucking, flying vermin come, come flying out. The skeletons uh, are to stop the bats. <laughs> two of them will try to attach themselves to you. Attach themselves? Because oh, you dear. dear bastard. Oh, dear. All right. I have a non-attachment roll, I guess. Can anyone confuse the minions? Confuse them so they lash out at... Like, say, okay. any right. of these would lash out at anything in front of them. Uh, one of them rolls a 16 versus your armor class. Versus my armor class, which is a 17. Take that, that. misses. Uh, the second one rolls a 19, which will hit. It will do. <laughs> it attaches you, does one point of damage. But oh. now it is latched onto you. That's not, not appropriate. With its, and it sticks its big proboscis through your flesh. Mm. <laughs> it's latched on you, it follows you to the movies, it follows you home. Dude, we need to see other people. And uh, that's it for them. So if I move, it comes with me, it's not in that yes. square? Yes, correct, it is which now. One, which one was it? Uh, this one. He's your buddy. Dude, my birth was foretold in a prophecy. So was mine. Wow. Look at that. Then, uh, immediately know. after that, these guys uh -oh. charge. Uh-oh, they're going uh -oh. after the uh -oh. wizard. Oh, dear. We got a D up on that wizard. Thank you. Jaundice. Oh boy. That's, wow. that's too many. It's getting wow. crowded in here. <laughs> Jeez. He'll probably move to about there. He's going to get to about there. Do we need a new strategy? <laughs> yes. Run. These guys are going to charge you. Should we get them all to stand on the ice? Take the right. roll <laughs> and leave. And buy. <laughs> all right. Uh, they rush up. Oh my gosh, Bard's in a bad way. Oh, this is my plan. <laughs> <laughs> it's all brilliant. coming together. Absolutely brilliant. The uh, attacks against you I'll do first. Uh, one is going to hit, two is going to hit, and one's going to miss. So two hits on the Bard for a total of eight points of damage. Well within parameters. The wizard will get attacked once. That's horrible roll. That's a nine versus AC. Sixteen. Okay. And then three on the Goliath. Uh, that's a 13 versus AC. My AC is 18. Okay. Uh, a second one misses. The third one is going to hit you for four points of damage. So there go your temporary hit points. So you're, you're, ba you're back to full. They're done. And we come to Bluebell. 
There's a lot of bad guys. Where are you headed for? Those four points that went. Yeah, you had four. You had four. Oh, bonus over here. Points. I'm sorry, I'm looking over here. here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I thought I was ahead of him in the uh, initiative. Uh, I have you at three. Oh, these are maxes. Oh, that's the last time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see. I was and those are the ones you were you took from damage. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. But you healed up since then, didn't you? Yeah. What about yeah. this? This okay. is my. Okay. So you're using that now. Yeah. Like, I didn't realize I was. But you take away four from this. No. No. If you. Oh, yeah. that's your dire wolverine strike. Close burst of one. The one that's one away from. Yes. Right. So if you can get close to a bunch of guys, you can attack multiples. Well, I can move six spaces and then do Dire Wolverine Strike. Okay. Uh, do you want to go after like these guys or these uh, guys? Yeah, I don't think I can reach those, that other pack. Four. It's five to, you know, here or here. Uh, I'll stay right there. You could also go over and help the wizard. One, two, three, I four, got five. I'm good. Uh, okay. Um, so you're so, All right. Guys. Dire Wolverine Strike. You attack all creatures in a close burst one, and uh, it's plus seven on each attack, and you do a D8 plus four damage on each hit. Okay. Uh, so, make two separate attacks. Uh, you so mean two. roll? Yes. A D20 to start. Eight. Plus seven is 15. 15, uh, 15 is not going to hit that skeleton, Ugh. but you get a second attack on this guy. All right. Six. <laughs> Plus seven is 13, and that's not going to hit him either. All right. All right. Glad I could help. Uh, and uh, bear in mind, just so you know, you do get extra damage if you're in these areas here. you got to be in it to lose it. Do I still have one more move? You moved and attacked, so you're basically done. All right. And then we come to Steel Diamond, who well, has a bloodsucker attached to him. Uh, well, I'm going to let it suck some more, as I, I know you have are. lured all of them into my trap. Okay. I'm going to enact a burning spray, which hits each creature within three squares of me. Okay. Um, uh, just before you do that, it sucks some blood out of you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, to, the, <laughs> to the tune of four points of damage. Okay. Would that would that sucker be included with the damage that I'm gonna, might do? Yes. Okay, well, yes. He's about to be uh, burned. Now, had he, could I have done something with Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You want to do that now? Yeah. Okay. If I can still do that. Absolutely. I got two of these. Yeah, we'll I jump back for a second. Okay, not my turn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is only going to help. I want to do action point. So then do I re-roll? Uh, you your action point gives you another action. So uh, Dire Wolverine Strike was a red power and a counter power, so that one's spent. That one's gone. I can do Shield of Blade. You totally could do that. Um, or... Or another red power. Yeah, it's the only shield. No, I don't have any multiple okay. enemy attacks anymore. Uh, so let's do Shield of Blades. So Shield of Blades is all about... Well, this is a single creature. But, uh, but it lets you attack it, and then if you hit it, you get a bonus to your defenses, plus two to your AC. It's a veritable Shield of Blades. Yes. So you become harder to hit after you attack. Great. It's a plus seven on your d20 roll to try to hit it. Okay. And I'll be going for the guy closest to the room. Got it. Mm. Plus seven is 17. 17. That hits him, and all he right. explodes. Boom. <laughs> his bones go scattered all over the place. Nothing seems to happen when his bones cross the circle. Okay, back to the bard. So we got a plus five to attack, a 1d8 plus five damage. Okay, um, and you said it was a close burst. Close burst, close blast, three range, each creature in blast. Okay. So a blast emanates from you in a three by three square. So it could be like this three by three square. Oh, it's, I'm not in the center, like, like a radius? No, that's uh, mm. I, the, dif the difference between a blast and a burst is a blast goes out from you and a burst you're at the center of and emanates mm. out from you in all directions. Oh, um, um, so how do you say this works? So it's a three by three square that's anywhere basically adjacent to you. So on the corner of a three by three yeah. square? Yeah, exactly. Or along the face of a three by three square, if you prefer. So you could like hit him, him, and him, or you could hit him, 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 just by putting. It I want to hit here. the most number of bad guys. Okay. <laughs> You're not terribly concerned about the one attached to you. Well, wouldn't that, wouldn't the one attached to me be included no matter what I do? Because on the corner or no? Uh, yes. Okay. You're right. So you'd get him too. So probably you'd want to put it here. I guess that's what I'll do. Great. But then. The guy next to the wizard is still kind of next to the wizard. Yeah. 
I think I'll be okay. You could also angle it here and try to take out him, 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 him. No, I'll do. I'll do the first option. Okay. Don't be a hero. So let's start. <laughs> let's start with the guy on you. Okay. So this is a plus five to whatever this roll is. Uh, that's correct. A twelve plus five is seventeen. Okay, that hits the sturge. Roll damage against him. So damage is one d eight. Where my d eight go? Oh, that's five. Ten. Okay. He is bloodied. Oh, that's it. Just yep. All right. <laughs> uh, with your blood. This guy? Yeah. Okay, this guy rolled you see a your blood, 14. Uh, that hits as well. And for damage, I got a uh, t- 13. Uh, damage is the same for all of them. Oh, so so you only have to roll that one. 10. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So he's bloodied as well. This guy? Um, Where is it? Where is it? This one? It, uh, uh, it's 10 sides, depending on, on what weapon. Uh, misses. Oh, okay. This guy? Is a 10 sided yeah, the oh, stirs. Okay. Uh, These guys are not minions. 19. Cool, thanks. That hits, so he takes 10. And 22. Hit again. So you hit all of the sturges, they're all bloodied. Well, I am going to do an action point to do a second attack. Okay. Because I want these things dead. Yep. This is a shout of triumph. Excellent. Um, if, if I do it with an action surge, I get a plus 3 above its normal bonus. Great. So it's a plus eight to attack. And same thing, close blast three, so I'm going to do the same okay. thing. First the guy on you. First the guy on me, this is a plus eight. 23. Hits. And my damage, it, it was a 1d6 plus five, sadly. 10. Wow. Uh, it dies. That's right. <laughs> this guy. guy. Raid! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? 13. Raid. No. This guy. Uh, 23. His bones explode all over. Okay. That guy. Uh, 28. <coughs> and the last guy, uh, 27. <laughs> well done. All right. all right, so there's nothing attached to your face. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And we jump back to the top with Ranrock. Pretty sweet. Huh? Yeah, what have you been doing, Ranrock? <laughs> I see one you're doing great, guys. Way over there. You're not. You're not leaving, are you, Ren? <laughs> I pulled you I'm up. Very cool. <laughs> Have you done it? I'm <laughs> just drying <laughs> out. Comes back. Okay, Chris. What's the difference between a cleave and a passing attack? Okay, so a cleave, which is what you're at will, uh, you attack, and then every enemy, if you hit, every enemy that it adjacent to you, other than the guy you just hit, takes damage, auto damage. So, like, for instance, okay. if you were to run up to, I don't know, here, I and attack him, then he would take auto damage right. if you hit, and you could take them both out. Gotcha. With the passing attack, it's you hit and you move a square mm-hmm. and make another attack against a different target. Right. Well, I might as well do the cleave then. And okay. It's... So I'm going to move... One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I don't know. I and cleave yeah, at this. Yeah. Cleave at this guy Perfect. and try to get this guy as well. Perfect. Perfect. On, let's do this. When you say come around, Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. That hits. He explodes, right. and this guy takes auto damage and explodes. Nice. Sweet. Well done. All right, Renrock's in the game. Jondas. So you might be the first uh, attack opportunity. Yeah, I think we were just saying I might suffer the first mm-hmm. attack of opportunity in this game because I'm going to try to go around this guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. One, two, to here. Yeah. All right, he will take a swipe at you. Uh, he rolled a 19 versus AC. Okay, that does hit. Four points of damage. Okay, and does that stop my movement or can I continue? No, nope, you can keep going. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Out of here. I'm going to I'm call the police. Going around him. <laughs> you leave? Uh, passing through the cloud, actually. Okay, no effect. Um, to here. You feel strangely empowered as you run through. And as I run through, and yeah, get a nice tickle. Uh, I'm going to do a scorching burst right there. In what uh, direction? Which. I'll get your buddy. Well, maybe my positioning was, uh, was wrong if I did this incorrectly. But it's area burst one okay. within ten squares. So this emanates from me? No, it's, if it's an area burst, you're basically lobbing it out. Oh, up okay. To, up to ten squares away, and then it detonates, exploding in that square and all oh. adjacent squares. Well, so you didn't have it's to. frustrating to be the person asking, but may I take back the movement? Absolutely. That? You get the four hit points back, uh, too. Okay, then, then I'll, I'll stay here, okay. and I will attempt to lob it. Th- this is where you I want to You still probably want to shift away from him just so he doesn't take the attack of opportunity, but you can do that as a move. That's okay. 
and may, I make okay. a ranged attack to here, Great. or is there a line of sight issue? Nope, okay. you got it. Okay, that's so where I wanted to go. Explodes here, it's going to affect nice. all three of these guys. Okay. Does Toro so, still have the free five footer? So, so do, you, do a D yeah, twenty and D six. Is it still a free five footer in in this version? Uh, yeah, we call it a shift. It counts as, but it counts as your move action. Oh, okay. okay, cool. So against this first guy. Kaplawi on him. Uh, this damage still applies to the others, but it won't make any difference because they're minions. Oh, so, I see. Um, but I have to do another attack. Yeah, roll. separate attack rolls. Uh, 13, pl um, sorry, uh, it's a plus 5, so 18. Get him. You are guy clearing these guys. It is a 10. Missed. Okay. Okay, well done. Nice, Dan. Woo! Thanks, boy. All right, Kai, Nuxin, you oh, are up. Jeez, dozed off there for a moment. <laughs> What about this great cleave? Okay, this Ooh. is yeah, this is awesome. For these two guys, um, that's pretty cool. Well, with these particular guys, you're not going to have to worry about damage because they're minions. Right. Uh, but essentially, you make one attack roll, mm -hmm. and oh wait a minute. Well, if you hit, depending on how much damage these guys do to me. I'm yeah, it's each enemy in burst. So you make a separate attack roll against yeah. each guy. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Let's see how we do. First against this clown. Take him out. Fifteen. Yes, you're going to get him. Nice. Okay. That's got to feel good. Oh, 16. Nice. nice. Bones go flying. Oh, God. You guys no, are clear to the minions. Done. Uh, that's an encounter power. It's done. Uh, you can still move. You have a move action. Oh, in that case, let's skewer zip. No, <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. I wonder if uh, Jonas could use my help, perhaps, over there. Not, not at the moment, of course, because there's nothing there, but I'm just... Waiting for something. Sure. Always. Or to try to cut these guys say, off, right? I use my six. To try and if I can, I do this. One, two, three, four. If I'm, I don't have that move anymore. But if I'm closer to these guys, am I in jeopardy of getting attacked by they them? They will almost certainly attack the nearest warm-blooded thing that they see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But maybe that's not a bad thing because you have more hit points than anybody else. Yeah. You probably don't want five of them attached. No, to I don't. <laughs> Just so you know, yes. can you cook? <laughs> Kai Nuke Sin. Kai Nuke Sin. <laughs> I was planning on running over there and casting Cloud of Darkness, which would blind them and keep them away from me. I'll, uh, I'll stay away from them then. Yeah. Until they flew out of the cloud. Well, there's no telling that they'd do that. Maybe they'd hang out. Yeah. I wonder I wonder what <laughs> savor the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe I just need to be Who's close to the center. Okay. If they're bloodsuckers, I wonder if the uh, golem would be best in the front lines. Uh, I don't have any blood. Oh, I plan on running in there. You have vital bodily fluids, but uh, not really, mud. 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 Mud blood. <laughs> mud blood. You're a mud blood. All right. So you are joined by the massive Goliath. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Just looking out for you. Yep. Jaundice. All right, Goliath. the one remaining skeleton will attack the bard, since he's already there, and uh, a 12 is not so going to do it. Back nope. while I try to All do right. my... And then the blood-sucking guys. My mojo. Mm -hmm. I love that it's raining outside, by the way. Yeah, that makes I this know. all the better. Yeah. Indoors, playing games. It's like we, we do deserve uh, to be here. come on. Yeah. Are you going to be giving up your game room? To the baby room? <laughs> all right, <laughs> the little guys. Uh, three of them will attack the bard. But probably. Miss. Hit. Hit. Uh-oh. Uh, the bard takes a total of four points of damage and has two of them stuck to him. Ooh. Not too bad, but not pleasurable. Wink, wink. And then <laughs> the Goliath is hit once. Uh, the Goliath, uh, 17 versus AC. Nope, that's a miss. <coughs> a miss. That's and then uh, attack on Bluebell, that's a miss. A second attack on Bluebell is another miss. They can't roll very well today. And then the one on the Warforged is a 19 versus AC. 20. Oh, hmm. there you go. Then we are done. Oh, boss. We come to Bluebell. Hmm. You've got a bunch of fluttering Sturges in front of you. Now, because I'm a ranger, it seems like hopping into one of those clouds isn't going to gain me anything, because I can't then cast... Well, it, it just it, it adds damage to your any attack that you do, whether it's a, a blade attack or not. Hmm. Um, but right now, you're sort of up at them. If you took a step back, you would not be in range to use your swords. 
Um, if I cast Cloud of Darkness, that doesn't actually do any damage to yeah. them. I'm sort of wasting a turn to blind them yeah. and keep them away from me. So I won't do that. But you do have attacks that let you attack multiple creatures. I don't know that I... Um, Can I use... I can't use Dire Wolverine Strike again. Uh, you've used that one already. Have you I got, think that's my only multiple. You have your Black Power, the... What is that? Jaws called? of the Wolf. Jaws of the Wolf. That's one creature. Oh, okay. And then... So uh, all of these I can only attack only one, one creature. Okay. Um, Teacher? Yeah. Can, I, can I go to the bathroom? Absolutely. Should I take this off? You guys going to record it. You can just turn off the, the switch on the... Oh, yeah. I like to hear it. <laughs> Leave it on you. Let's see. And don't drop it in the toilet. What did you step in? I don't know what's going on over there. Sure. Well, I... <laughs> Candy <laughs> DMs. <laughs> It's, it's this wet Is floor. Is it sticky? I think the floor was sticky to start with, then it got wet. Oh, right. Because no people are up here drinking all the I'll time. I'll do uh, right? oh. hit and run, I guess. That's an interesting one. Okay, this is actually cool because it says... First, you make your attack, blah, blah, blah. If you move in the same turn as this attack, leaving the first square adjacent to a target does not provoke an opportunity, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, interesting. Um, I'm going to tell you something about the ranger that's kind of cool. Mm. That's, a ranger has an ability called quarry. Right. Which allows you to basically, as a free action, or as a minor action, I should say, point to a creature and say, I, you are my quarry. When you target that creature with attacks and hit, you do an extra d6 damage against it. Sweet. So it's like you put a bias on that guy. So you can, with the hit and run power, you can attack this guy, like attack one of these guys, and then like move away from it mm -hmm. without provoking an attack from that guy. Um, since you're kind of a front lawn guy anyway, I'm not sure where you'd run to. Yeah. Um, well, maybe I don't need to hit and run. Probably not. I can do Hunter's Quarry. Yes. Just to... You can say, this guy is going to be my quarry. Awesome. Uh huh. And then if you hit him, not only do you regular damage, but you get to roll an extra d6 damage on top of it. No. I'm going to hit the guy closest to the rune, okay. giving those guys Perfect. a little cover to work on the rune, right. on the decoding or whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, um, go right ahead. Uh, you can... Do you have, what's your other green power? Not the hit and run. Hit and run, shield of blades. Shield of blades is probably a good one to use if you're just going to stand there and be a target. Okay. Because if you hit, you get a bonus to your armor class. Oh, good. So I would suggest hitting, shield of blades. hitting your quarry and then activate Shield of Blades and he'll have a harder time attacking you. Okay. So roll? Yep. Cool. And uh, Shield of Blades tells you what your bonus is. It's plus seven. So I rolled a 12. Plus seven is uh, seven, 19. And then you roll that damage there, 1d8 plus four, and an extra d6 on top of it because he's your quarry. Nice. So there's a d6. A D8 looks like a diamond kind of deal. Like That's a D10. There it is. Right there. So roll this. And this. Together. And add... Epic thighs. And add... <laughs> what is that? Four? Yeah. yeah. Be the one with the epic thighs on it. So a three and a three. And four is ten. Or the diamond. Okay, you bloodied it. That's it? Yeah. These guys have more hit points than the minions. Oh, okay. How much damage did you do? Did you do? Ten, ten total. Points. Okay. Three, three, and four. That's uh, These guys are hardy. your turn. <laughs> Good day's work. Ranrock? All right, I was just steal. I wonder, I have two bloodsuckers on me. I must be oh, freaking right. out. Thank you. What you if I stumble damage. backwards into the runes in horror? What's going on? Oh, oh, no. 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 Nothing but fun. I assure you. No, no. Uh, here comes some damage <laughs> from the suckers. Totally plausible. Never. Uh, you take three points of damage from them. All right. Um, so first, I'm going to do a minor action, which I believe wouldn't get in the way of attacking and moving later. Correct. Which is called the Majestic Word. Yep. Um, the target, which in this case can be me, can spend a healing surge and regain additional hit points equal to your charisma modifier, which okay. is plus five. Does that mean I get a healing surge and my charisma modifier, or I just yeah. get the charisma? you get both. So you spend awesome. a healing surge, you get back the amount that you would normally get for your healing surge, plus an extra five. So that means 12. Yep. So I am having a good time with that. And then... Uh, how how do I attack them if they're on me? Do I swing a sword? You can me? absolutely. You can just. <laughs> um, well, just I, you take out a razor, a shaving blade. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna move. This is attack of opportunity from these guys. If I do that, if you just shift away, just shift you in. don't take any attacks of opportunity. Okay, I'm just shifting, and then I guess these two guys go with me. Uh, th this guy and this guy. Okay, yeah, and then I'm going to. Uh, 
stab myself in the throat, I guess. <laughs> yeah. um, which is just a plus three. I wonder if I do something special, because that might be not be enough. Um, do I do that or what? It was arranged. Yeah, just in case that's not enough, I'm going to do a war song strike, which is an at will power. Um, it's a melee attack against one creature. Okay. It's a plus eight attack with my long sword with 1d8 plus five damage. Great. What's your war song? Um, oh, in the navy. <laughs> and any ally who hits the target for the end of your next turn gains temporary hit points equal to your constitution modifier. So in case someone swings at my throat and hits this accidentally. So my attack is 23. That's a hit. 1d8, where'd That's my d8 hit. go? Plus five. It, oh, six. Okay. That's the diamond. You it's still alive? Just it is still alive. It. Still attached to your throat. Right, well, that, was my, that was my turn. Wow. All right. And since it's a green thing, it doesn't go away. I can use as many times as I want. Exactly. Uh, and we come back to the top with Renrock. Okay. you got three possible targets right in front of you there. I'm going to say out loud, how could I possibly hit three targets at once? <laughs> and then I will look to Bluebell and give him a small wink and use my Tempest Dance yes. to swing at all three. Great. Um, Tempest Dance, nice. So I think I, I might roll for each one. Uh, usually you make separate attack rolls. Let okay. me take a look. He's a maniac. He's a maniac. <laughs> Yeah, it says uh, when, you, when you make an attack, whether you hit or miss, you can shift one square and repeat the attack against the second target. You can then shift one square and repeat the attack okay. against the third target. So against each guy. So uh, just like attacking each one. Yeah. I don't have to shift. You don't have to shift. Okay, you can yeah, stay where so you are. I'll probably just... Okay, so it's plus eight against start each Start here. Other. Yeah, yeah, start here. and Oh, plus eight against each of them. Yeah, because plus eight, and then you do a d10 plus okay. five damage. So the first one, 19. Hit. Should I do the damage now? Sure. Nine plus five, fourteen. All right. Good job. Start Come on. Start to pull your weight. Ooh, up. ten. Oh, no. One of them gets away. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know that wink to uh, <laughs> Bluebell. Really. You're gonna regret that. <laughs> <laughs> Bluebell's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, classic Ranrock. Always <laughs> 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 gamble. Always back on his horse. Always back on his horse. Oh, this. And his horse never oh. comes in. John, this, you see the bard flailing around with two uh, guys stuck to his flesh. Oh, um, gosh. Also, there's also the circle so in front of him. for the gold. <laughs> when, I, when I study him physically, does he appear to be bloodied in any way? There's some dried <laughs> blood. Yeah, he, he's not at half of his hit points yet, so... You're not at half your hit points yet. I am not at half my hit points, but I'm in constant cutting of myself shaving. So. <laughs> you keep staring yourself. Like, hey, <laughs> this all happened because he went for the gold. I nudge Goliath, and I'm like, you know, keep your eye on Neil Diamond over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the attempt again? another room. Nice. Arcana okay, check. Okay, let's do this. For uh, 30. Wow, right. yes. Nice. Crushing and, um, That's two yeah. successes. Feeling good about myself, I will spend an action point oh, ho, ho. Yes. to do it again. This ruin needs to go. For uh, 26. Success. Three successes. All right, right you're halfway, halfway there. there. Splendid. And then we drop to... Where are we next? Oh, Kai. Oh, can I, Kai quick question. Do I have to be adjacent? Yes. I do. Okay, so I'll stay. Well, it seems logical that I would take out that guy in front of me before he... Latches on to anything like that. So, I'll use my great sword to do so. All right. That's a great sword. <laughs> it's a great, great sword, isn't it? Sword. You know what would have been handy down here is that flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say it. That's so <laughs> true. Uh, yeah, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, I can't wait to leave this sarcophagus. Roll damage. <laughs> ah, two. Oh, actually, you're doing great sword damage, so it's higher. So oh, you should be rolling a d10. 
Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, two yeah, plus. What are uh, you using this? I might put him down. He, he gets some, some uh, damage. Points. I wasn't, but I will. Uh, okay, so you actually add four to that. So you do six. Okay. All right, and then uh, just something you want to keep in mind is you have being a barbarian ability called blood hunt, blood hunt rage. I saw that, but I yes. wasn't sure how much it's. <laughs> Not only it's a daily, so it's a big, it's your oh, big, it's true, yeah. big thing. But uh, if you hit, you deal whopping damage. You roll three d ten. Rage. Three ten sided dice, and then you deal half damage on a miss, and you enter a rage. For the rest of the encounter, you gain a bonus on your melee damage rolls equal to your con, so plus four damage for the rest of the encounter. Just something to keep in mind for the future. But anyway. Should I do that instead? No. Nope. The remaining. Nope. Okay. Mm. Gotcha. So how much damage did you did you do? Yeah, did Six. I kill it? I killed that, right? Uh, no, it's still up. <laughs> it defies you. Is it and then is it all bloody and gross? Yes, and it's going to try to attach to your face. Mm. Oh, roll the natural twenty. Uh, so that is a critical hit. Mm. Natural 20s always hit, and when they do, they do maximum damage. Hang on, hang on, I've got something oh. here. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You've got Stone Stones Endurance, endurance uh, which you... Double. It's Second a two. minor action that's activated on your turn. Okay. Um, looks uh, like you got nothing no, that you can use right now. All right, uh, so... What does that mean for me at the, at the moment? Uh, what it means is you're going to take four damage, okay. and it will attach to your face. Mm-hmm. Like this is a and then uh, this one is going to try to... Uh, actually, this guy will shift to here. This guy will shift to here, and they'll both attack the ranger, because he's much juicier than the warforged. Uh, ranger, you're going to be hit once and missed once. So the one that hits you attaches to you and does four damage. Okay. The two on the bard will just suck on him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, for a total of eight damage. Eight? Ooh. It's never been that big before. I know. So to speak. This guy, this guy's going to swoop over and join him yeah. and miss. Good. So he, he missed. All right. And the orc will leap forth and try to thrust the bard with his rusty sword. Oh, I'm going to get an infection. Mm. 22 versus AC is a hit. Does four points of damage. Oh, look at all this blood. <laughs> and we come to... Uh, blue bell. Right. You've got one attached on you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, get it off, get it off, get it off. I'm gonna, can I do shield of blades again? You sure can. Let's do that. All right, so that means that uh, when you hit it, you uh, add seven to the attack roll. If you hit, you roll a d8 plus four, and you get a bonus to your armor class. Here's my eight, so I'll roll the eight one uh, first. You, start with, you always start with the d20 to see if okay. you hit. Nine plus, plus seven. seven. Sixteen is a hit. Okay. Damage is two plus, plus four. four is six. Uh, that's all you needed for him. Okay. He had already taken some damage. So pff, you Ooh. smash it down in the ground and step on it. Um, you still have a move action if you wanted. If you do more than shift one square, you'll take an attack from him because he's close to you. Uh, I've also got an action point left. To you do. All right. Do you, uh, you think once we get that sarcophagus open, some really big thing is coming out? Because <laughs> I've got all sorts of stuff in reserve. I know, I'm thinking. Well, down, I got three uh, tries left. Or, well, not three tries left, but I've got three more steps in my skill check here, and then um, God knows what's in there. But I'm only disabling the summoning right. uh, effect. It, this thing still has a shield on mm-hmm. it, possibly. What about the locks? But, um, no, he could maybe get to work on the locks. Why don't I... Yeah, he'll have to, you'll have to tear down this thing's defenses before he can get to the locks. So, yeah, so I got a whole other shield to go after this. I'm like the guy in Die Hard, burning through all the, right. <laughs> the layers. I guess I'll take a step closer to the uh, the room. Magic power. All right. Yeah. That guy will attack. That, uh, that he's on my. No, he shifted. He's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's. And you're doing uh, your. Sorry, you're. I'm not going to use my action point. Okay. You said I had just one right, more yeah. move yet. Well, okay. So I'll get myself in position. Then steel diamond. All right. I'm going to do a 
uh, what was it called? Oh, it's the start. Sorry, it's the start of your turn, so you take some damage. <laughs> you take five points of damage before you get attacked. Really? You know, I had nowhere to go. Really? To how, how does dying work compared? I'm not compared to free five. Okay, if you drop to zero hit points, uh -huh. uh, you fall down unconscious, mm -hmm. and then what happens is uh, you. On your turn, when your turn comes around, you make what's called a death save. And it's a d20 roll, and if you roll high enough, you continue to be stabilized. If you roll under 10, you start dying. And if you, you have three strikes, basically. Okay. If you roll under 10 three times, you die. If you roll a natural 20 while you're unconscious, you have a sudden burst of life and kick back with uh, some hit points. It could be fun. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do a war song strike against the thing I, I struck the last time, so okay. I've hit it a few times. Yep. And Seems this is a plus eight. Yep. In the navy again. Ugh, Twelve. Uh, not enough, sadly. All right. I am then going to start screaming and running. <laughs> <laughs> one. I know attacks opportunity from two of these guys. Uh, the two that are attached don't attack you. They're just feeding off of you. Uh -huh. The third one does or tries, and it will actually hit you. And now attached to you. It does one. <laughs> It does one point of damage. Okay, I'm still running. Yeah. What about this guy? Uh, him too. And we probably say, hey guys, that gold's free now. He is going to hit you as well for another four. Oh, that's it. Okay, and I'm like, oh. Uh, my corpse has been right. sucked on by. Yeah, you're right in that square uh, there. Gold can't buy hit points, my friend. <laughs> I hear him go. I hear him go down behind me and just shake my head. <laughs> just keep working. John is going to get distracted. So right. Keep working. Now, at the end, it's now the end of your turn, so you can make a death save. Okay. It's a d20 roll. Right before I pass out, I say, "I've learned nothing." <laughs> Five. That's strike one. Okay. I'll write down more. Now, He's while he is revive him? while he is in this state, somebody <laughs> yeah, somebody can come up to him. Uh, be adjacent to him and use a heal check. That's one of your skills. If you roll well enough on your heal check, then you can let him spend a healing surge. Ah, I'm so. just saying, gold split four ways is <laughs> <laughs> easier than splitting it five ways. And by the way, the heal check DC, you have to roll a ten or higher. We haven't even gotten into that other gold, which I, I know. unleash a whole other exactly. round. Exactly. Well, he actually put his gold back, so it's oh. all there. Mm. Still there? Yeah, it's still there. Um, but... Yeah, all right. Keep it in the back of your heads. <laughs> Ranrock. Yes. Um, I'm going to try to take out this little guy. Okay. Come on. 16. That's a hit. That's a hit. Son of a bitch. Uh, six. Okay. He is still there. Um, I will use... My action point, and I'm going to take another swing at him. All right. Okay. Hey, that's a crit. When you roll a 20 and crit, you automatically deal maximum damage. So, so 15. There you go. You crush him. Now, do I still have my movement? Uh, you do. So I Where will. Going? Where are you going, Red Rock? <laughs> One, two, He's three, going in. four. One more. Five. To watch. Put you in chase. <laughs> yes. He's railing on him. Yeah, He's already go, down, Red Rock. As I go by Blue Bell, I'm going to give him another wink just to, <laughs> just to, just to unsettle him. Ding. You ain't seen nothing All right. yet. Well done. And heal check is obviously not a minor action. Uh, no, it's a yeah. standard. Okay. Uh, then we jump down to Jaundice the Mauve. Mm. All right. Well, You've racked up three successes, my friend. Do they have to be sequential, by the way? Can we go for a fourth? You mean... Do, can he take a break and have a sandwich and then go back and do these <laughs> rolls? Uh, it could be important. Okay. I'm going to roll a fourth. Come on. Ooh, 12. No, sad. Oh. Mm. Failure number one. So that's my first strike. Mm. And no more action points. And, I mean, I could move, but I couldn't do anything. So I probably just need to stay here. Yep. So okay. what, it wasn't much, but... Okay. Yeah, you, you have to do it. it. All right. It's me, right? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to take that guy out in front of me, but there, I'm sitting on these things. Is there anything I can do here? I got the... Well, blood, blood hunt rage doesn't seem like it's... 
Although we only have an hour left. <laughs> I'd say think. Uh, I mean, what's going to do the... I can't... I'm not within range to do much other than the guy in front of me, am I right? Right. Correct. Including swift charge and all this stuff, so... Uh, let's see. That's good if you're charging the Helm right. Strike. All right, so why don't I just take care of the guy in okay. front of me and see if I can... Get him with my uh, great oh, uh, sword. You, this guy's attached to you, isn't he? Oh, he is, yeah. yeah. So so stab, he sucks two hit points it's, out of you. It's too long to stab myself in the face. Uh, you totally can do it. saw him. But you, uh, took you, took, you took two hit points as he oh, sucked okay. your blood. Gotcha. Slurp, 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 slurp. You saw a little blood go up his little sting in there, and you're like, that's mine. That's mine, God damn it. Yum. All right. Precious fluids. Oh, well done. Indeed. All right. Uh, damage. D10 plus. The teenage yeah. girls love the Sturges. <laughs> the Sturge novels. Ooh, zero. <laughs> crush it. That's ten. Oh, that's good. it. Yeah. I mean, zero. <laughs> zero. You, all right. You smash it. You still have a move action if you I want do. to. I do. What are we all hanging out around steel balls for? <laughs> 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 We're gonna steal nuts. Can we help with the runes in any way? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, just say. <laughs> I would, I'm actually going to check on that ice, see if it's frozen <laughs> over. Somebody get those doors out of that ice! I'm going to go look for that heat lizard guy. Those doors are suffocating! Um, and all kinds of skill checks you could theoretically use on the rune, whether you're confident enough to do it, is up to you. I your pardon. Well, let's do a skill check. Let's like see. Skill checks. You don't That's have a lot cool. of thievery. I don't. I don't have anything. Yeah, negative right. arcana, so I don't recommend that. So maybe I can't do that. Um, your history is plus one. That helps to figure out which ruins are sort of just sort of uh, historical ones that dwarves use for these kinds of traps and whatnot. But no, uh, doesn't seem like a lot of anything. You can try stepping on it. I don't think I'm gonna step on it. Gonna <laughs> <Can it> hurt. <laughs> uh, do I do anything? Doug. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah. This is our leading our, our brigade here. Uh, is it a waste to let it go? I just don't know what else I could do other than... Um, is it, am I going to hurt myself if I do no the history? Risk, no reward. Well put. Hmm. Could you undo all of Dan's hard work? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. Am I only going to cause more damage you, you could by probably, doing it? You could probably undo all of his work by stepping in it. Yeah, I'm not going to step in it. But what about the history one? Is that uh, going to hurt me at all if, if it goes wrong? Uh, if it fails, no. It will not hurt you. Let's do that then. Again, All, all history will do is if you succeed, it will give Dan a bit of a bonus on his next check. Here I go. Four. No bonus for you. <laughs> Sorry. You know, Five I seem to remember shot. something from my history. <laughs> Don't rely Never. on me. <laughs> Where are we again? Okay. Next up is the bad guys. Distracted by the pretty, pretty blue clouds. <laughs> okay. I do. Hey. <laughs> Another little bit of information that will be helpful to you is that if you get to your negative bloodied value, that is, if your, your bloodied value is half your hit points, if you ever drop to the negative of that, uh -huh. you're also killed outright. Okay. I only say that because they are continuing to suck on your unconscious corpse. Uh, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, it's a race. Two, <laughs> let's see what happens. two and four points of damage, so a total of eight. All right. Well, that is something that shouldn't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Take my meaning. This guy is actually going to sashay over to here and wail on the Warforged. Bring it. Because he thinks he's stupid. He's a skeleton. He thinks the... Bard's already dead. Uh, the Warforged, uh, he does 22 sense. versus AC. 20. So you take four points of damage. I'm actually not doing too so good. He clatters along. And then we drop to Bluebell the Drow. So I, uh, I've got Terrible Arcana. Arcana, Thievery, and History are sort of the three big skills I've got here. zero History, zero Arcana, two Thievery. Okay. So I probably won't be much help uh, cracking the code. Um, but I can run over and help out on some of those uh, All right. villains. Well done. Uh, so they're all three. <laughs> <laughs> so, one, two, three. You can get like there and attack the minion. Technically, uh -huh. nobody's or you standing next to the wizard. Four, five, six, attack it from there. Oh, or you attack it from the in. cloud. Yeah, okay. Could up in here, yeah, no one's technically, because these are all attached. Oh yeah, you're right. To you the could body. totally. Oh yeah, if you right do, in there. It just depends. Do you want to do the sturge or do you want to do the And intercede yourself between the wizard and yeah. the blood. Yeah, I'd start working on those, those, those tougher, tougher ones. Wizard, all right. Um, <laughs> three. Let's do attached to the bard. Shield of blades. Excellent. I also see something called prime shot. Yes, if you are the closest. Uh, 
person to your enemy, you get a plus one bonus to hit. Unfortunately, that's not true. That is not true. Uh, all right. Well, let's just go. Let's do Shield of Blades yep. again. All right. Like that Shield of Blades. Shield of, of Blades. 19. Well done. You hit. And. Roll damage. Five plus okay. four. Nine. Nine. Uh, that one's actually taken some damage before. It is now dead. Right. When they when they fed on me a few minutes ago, should I have? Was that my turn? Should I have rolled to see if I wake up or something? That was their turn. So no. But there's. It's However, your turn next. now it is your turn. And don't they feed on me again on my turn? At the start of your turn, they do. Well, this is going to be. Fun. There are only two left. <laughs> one last guy on you. Uh, you doing take doing a total of can. three Look, points of damage. We've done, done everything possible. And you get a death save. To help you, and death save. Is... You can see that 20. A 12. You're stable. Nothing adverse happens. All right. Uh, uh, anybody who wants to, who's adjacent to him, can attempt a heal check to try to revive him. Is, that, is that more. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's more worth our time to get the things off of him or to. To try to revive him. It's touch and go right now. He's still got two on him. Um, if, he'd probably feel better if you tried to heal him, if, if you have I'm, any heal. If I'm revived, do I go back to zero or one hit points or something? What or? happens when you're revived is that you basically get to spend a healing surge. Regardless of what your negative is, when you're healed, you always assume that you were at zero and go up from there. So you'd have seven hit points. That'd be lovely. Okay, I will do the health check. Okay, it's a heal. Heal, I have a, I have a one. And you need a ten. I need a ten? Yeah. Bend over. I have faith. Congratulations. Yeah, all right. So you have seven hit points. Yeah. See, guys, this is, is all he back up? His eye, he... Well, he's still prone on the ground with these things attached to him. But he's, but he's, got he's, his eyes, but he, but he's in the positive, and his he's eyes are open. He's just awake enough to... <laughs> to feel the blood being sucked out of his body. Did that take away one of my uh, surges, you said? Nope. Okay. He spent the surge, uh, but it did use your standard action, so you can't attack this right. round. You could um, move if you wanted to. Can I mark an enemy? Uh, you Only one that you're attacking, so no. So no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Ranrock, sa Ranrock saves... Uh, Steals life. Ramrock beats paper. <laughs> John does. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm very predictable. You are three successes with one failure. Probably. I will continue my arcanic or conic murmurings. Ooh, 19. 19. No. Ooh. Oh. See, it's getting harder. It's getting harder. Uh, the magic number is 20. Oh, so close. I get a, a plus one for really wanting it. <laughs> oh, right. No. Mm. So mm. If, we, if that thing breaks, then we're in trouble, right? Like <laughs> some sort of hell beast is gonna. Can you can you defer so before you accidentally break it, we can get rid of all the other bad guys first? We, uh, defer yeah, you could you, you oh, could stop. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Or you could yeah turn on an attack one of these things. Yeah. So um, maybe I should go over and just. Smash on some. Smash on. Do you have any of those? Do you have any of those cleaves? No, I only had one. one. I only yeah. had one. But I guess if we're gonna just. Trigger but if I move away, over here, to try, then I can help out Steel Dan. Uh, nope, he's, he's two squares away from you two. there. I mean, not him, but I can't get this what guy. What do you remember no. about his? Because he's in his square. Actually. You can probably get around back, right? How many can you? Where was that? Uh, you were here. So one, two, hey, three, Sam, four. Hey, sure you don't remember your history? Five, six, seven. <laughs> You could, you, you could cut this corner and up here, but you take an attack from him. Did you say it's if you care oh, about that. that's why. Then I can't go through the cloud. You can go through the cloud, but as we'll you just, do, he takes an attack of opportunity against you. You could just stop yeah. an attack. So what's the closest I can get? Here. There, there, yeah. That doesn't do me any good. No. But what about, this sounds stupid, what about my javelin? You totally can hit with your javelin. Well, why don't you just stop He's, in the cloud and use it to attack the skeleton with? You could do that. Will that help you? Well, the skeleton could just lean down and stab me in the head, so. Yeah. All right, why don't we do that? All right, you are in the cloud. Exactly. <laughs> as you swing, as you prepare to swing your sword, you see it become glazed with sort of this cold ice, uh, which is good because you're going to deal some. It, it does more damage, basically. Okay. Don't judge a book. Cold power rushes through you. Eight plus. What are we doing? Javelin plus four. Uh, so oh no, you're doing your sword on him because um, you're next to him. Oh, all right, all right, sorry. So plus seven. Right. Okay. So fifteen. Got it. Is exactly what you needed. Yeah. Whew. 
All right, because he's a minion, he explodes, and you guys see sort of waves of cold energy erupt off of his shattered bony body. Wow. That's pretty sweet. And then we come to bad guys. There are still two attached to the, to the bard. They just we're doing our part. We're doing our part. Uh, a total of ugh, six points of damage. Yeah. This <laughs> is like a roller coaster. Right? Yeah. <laughs> New bell. Uh, since I can't help the runes, <laughs> you want to make it clear that you, <laughs> you're only coming. To, you're only coming to Diamond's aid because you can't do anything else. <laughs> Just so everyone's clear on that. <laughs> it's when we look around the room. <laughs> you know, I checked out that hall. So, uh, are you conscious? Can I ask your opinion? I'm conscious. Do you want me to heal you, or do you want me to kill one of these things? <laughs> I would rather you try to remove more gold. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna try to kill one of these enemies. Uh. Build a statue in my honor. So, uh... Let me... I'll do Shield of Blades. Okay. Again. He could be your quarry, too, so if you hit him, you deal extra damage. Okay. Shields of 17. Nice. Hits. And so it's a D8 plus 4 plus another D6. Good luck. It's a 9 plus 4 plus 6. All right, no, you have to roll the D6. Uh, no, in addition nine. to nine. So another die. There you go. And That's it. Five. Ooh. You kill it. All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is good news. And Steel, you start your turn with one attached to you. Okay. I'm sure I'll be fine. Just two points of damage. I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what's going on? Oh, God. Hey, where are we? Oh, yeah. Still learn nothing. Oh. Uh, you get to make another death save. <laughs> I failed my death save. Okay, that's two strikes. <laughs> two, but, I, but I've been conscious. It doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter? It's per encounter. Oh, so, okay, so two. I'm fine, not really. <laughs> okay. Um, Bury me with the gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. I still Rad have rock. my cut. Should I, get, should I get the one off first? Probably, right? <laughs> Might as well. I will swing my war hammer. Nobody's checked out this cloud. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen. That's a hit. We <laughs> uh, go check out our... Fire breathing. Nice. You crush it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Wow. So no, you have no other there. excuses. Then. You have no enemies to fight. All that you have confronting you is the circle of power, and of course your slowly dying friend. And somebody needs a heal check. Just, just saying. So are we out of initiative now, or we uh, no, we stay no, in we're still in initiative okay. for the time being. So we come to Jaundice. All right. So this could be come on. good or bad. Come on. This is it. This is <clears> it. Right. I can feel it. All righty. Uh, if you trigger it, something summons. It'll summon on top of you. Wouldn't it be great if I wasn't unconscious at the time? I agree. I agree. I'll defer until after. <laughs> I'll defer so someone can heal okay. him. Okay. Uh, would you like to do anything else? Go play with some gold, or um, you know? Please don't. <laughs> me? I'm, me I'm still thing. concentrating and waiting to, for somebody to tell me he's on his feet so that I can okay. finish. All right. I don't want to take my concentration off this thing. Okay, uh, Kai Nuxin. Jeez, it's so little to do. Yeah, you kill everything. Should I try another history to help? Check the corpse. That'd be great. That'd be great. I'll help Dan again with another history. Oh, oh, great. Don't forget to That's heal someone. <laughs> Columbus <laughs> sailed the ocean blue. And plus, <laughs> plus two to your... You guys are screwed. <laughs> you get nothing Eight from me. Nothing. nothing comes from the Goliath. Yeah. Uh, stop talking to me. I'm <laughs> trying to concentrate. <laughs> Bluebell. <laughs> You're fucking yeah. grade school history. Uh, I want to try to heal uh, Steel Dynamite. Well done. Uh, so I have a heal of zero, and I have to get over a ten? Yeah. 50-50 chance. Maybe I'm not the best person to do this. Thirteen! All right. Okay. Can I spend another whatever it's called, healing surge? Sure. So now are we... That would be much... Now? Uh, well, I deferred to until you were on your feet. We, you on your feet? we technically are because you're not in any danger of dying. That's much more. But fun. is this still in, in considered the encounter? Can I use a healing surge or? Uh, at this point in time, uh, since there's no imminent jeopardy, and you can basically hold off on your, this, you're not under any time constraints with the circle. So because of that, is there any such thing in this version of the game as like taking ten or twenty or any of that kind of yeah. thing? 
No, because it's still like an opposed. Right. Yes. So now that we're between encounters, can I use as many little healing surges as I want? Yeah, you guys can essentially camp okay, out I need to, and uh, spend as many healing surges as you care to. Heal to. Up. As if nothing went wrong. Uh, what do you I'm mean sure spend it? Like, oh, if you've taken any damage, which you have not. I really don't. I mean, I've got so 27. Out of 33, though, oh, so if you okay. did spend one of these 12, this number would go down to 11 and you'd get, you'd get eight, eight points, points back. back. I think, didn't, I already used one. <laughs> 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 yes, you went to your sheet. Yes. Okay, so you're wrong. actually at 11 now. <laughs> Right. Um, so if you spend one more, ten, you'd get eight hit points back. Okay. And that would put you up to full. And basically. that's the most we can do with three. three. Yeah. Okay. You're <laughs> I okay. put a jab. Just out of curiosity, is anybody out of healing surges? I have two. Left. All right. I just used my last one. Okay. We had three successes and two failures. The pressure is on. All right. Come on, Dan. Dan. Yes. And you can use your heal. You can use your um, what do you call it? History to help them. Okay. First. So make a history. Anybody can make a history check. If make not. history checks because if we're going off this roll, I need yeah. your help. Okay. Otherwise, I'm one shy because I rolled a 19. 18. You help. So 18. that's plus two. I got a Ten history. Uh, Twenty. So it's, yeah, you I help. That's plus four. That's over 20. Uh, I just got a eight. No. So you get plus four. So it was 23. That's a success. Oh, All right. <clears throat> Thanks, so guys. That was a lot of useful info. Can I do an arcana check to see if I touch the other gold with the same thing as? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what do you go to? 19. Was you, it... you think that if you do that, nothing will happen because you've already dispatched the skeletal thing. No, he's just being... Do it. Well, <laughs> well there's no reason not for me to take that gold. You quickly gather it up with no repercussions. All right, you're welcome, guys. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm so glad we brought him back. For now. <laughs> for now. You're going to go dance in the uh, ruin circle? No, yeah, that's, right. yeah, yeah. that's what bards do, right? <laughs> Anyone else remember anything cool from history class? Let me see. Nope. 18. 19. Yes, yes. No. One. So you get plus four to your roll. 1923 again. Success. Yeah. One more, right? No pressure, but you are now it's one, one success one. Okay. or one, one failure. failure. Okay. History rolls? I've been doing the tension's that. on. Oh, Will they do it? Drama you get. Will they do oh, it? 21, actually, with the history. Five. Success. 715. Success, success. You get a plus six. Uh oh. Oh, 13. 19. No. <laughs> it's 19. Just said it. No. 19. No. Okay. We um, get the rest of the gold. Red. No blue. All right. Oh no! You are one point away from glory uh, when a uh, column uh, of fire. I zigged uh, when I should have zagged. A column of fire basically fills that area, just sort of going right up to the ceiling. So now there's like a fire shield around this thing, and this appears. Mm. Nice. Let's all get in some cold, huh? You can see that in the midst of this rolling ball of fire is the vague semblance of a face. Uh oh. And it sort of looks at you menacingly and then begins to roll in your direction. Get thee to the clouds! Get to get to the clouds. Everybody roll initiative. I Just love it! Once, give me a good 19. Initiative. Uh, Ranrock? Uh, seven. Seven. Twenty. Twenty. Uh, Steel Diamond? Eighteen. Eighteen. Jaundice? Three. All right. Uh, Blue Bell Ladrow, you're the fastest of the guys who rolled 20, so you get to go first. If you get in a cloud, maybe you can do frozen arrows. Yeah. This appears to be some sort of fire elementally like creature. In six spaces, can I get over here? Let's see. Uh, well, there's this three, one. Four, five, yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Front line. <clears throat> All right. Um, That's only a move for you. You can make a ranged attack if you want to. Let's do a ranged. With your longer bow. Attack. As you lift your longbow, you see your arrow sort of coated in cold energy. Oh, he's mm. not going to like this. Hunter's Quarry in addition? I'm not yes. exactly sure what this one Hunter's does. Hunter's Quarry is a minor action for you, so you can move, use the minor to make it your quarry, and then attack it. Okay. And all it does is it gives you extra damage when you hit, so you get an extra D6 damage whenever you hit it. So my longbow yep. is a D10. Yep. Plus anything? Plus three. Okay, and then on top of that, roll a, a d6. But the first thing you have to do is try to hit it. And Which is that, my d20? Yeah. All right. Big roll. Ten. Plus, Plus. anything? Uh, uh, it's, it's the number right next to where your longbow is in the box. Five. Fifteen. Fifteen is not enough to hit it. Mm. The arrow misses and bursts into snowflakes on impact. Mm. 
Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Kai and Xin. All right, I can make it to either one, but if I'm going to try and hit that, do I need to be a certain range if I'm going to use, like, my javelin? Uh, your javelin is... You're well within range data with your javelin. Either data. one? Yeah. All right. Oh, oh, well, I'm already in one. Club. You I are in one. That. Yeah. I don't, I... So you can stay where you are. That's that... That's As you hurl your javelin <laughs> up your skirt. Cold energy. Here we go. You're doing like Maryland with it. Real maneuvers. Nine. Nine plus... Plus seven. I don't know. Six. Six. It's 15, not enough. It clatters across the floor. Uh, next is Steel Diamond. Uh, is that Column of Flame still doing this? Or yes. Do I have a... No, it is so now. So if I go here, I don't have a line of sight? Uh... You do. The flames are not perfectly solid. It's not like you can't see through them. Okay, so I'm going to so. step here. Ooh, magic stuff. Ooh, um, it's all I'm going to use my once a day stirring shout. All right. Uh, it is a plus five attack with my wand, range of 10. Nice. 2d6 plus five damage. Okay, make and an attack roll. And just to oh. tell everybody, uh, until the end of the encounter, the whole encounter, Yep. Whenever an ally of mine hits the target, that ally regains hit points equal to my charisma modifier, which is plus five. So nice. Sweet. You're, if Ooh. I hit, you're welcome. <clears throat> wow. All right. So I'm glad you're not dead. This is a plus five. Yeah. 21? That is going to hit it. All right. In addition, you deal an extra d6 of cold damage oh, on top of it. MG, so 3d6 oh. plus yep. five. So four, seven... 11 plus 5, 16 points of damage. Okay. You'll also be pleased to know that this monster has something called vulnerability to cold, which means it takes an extra 5 damage every time it's hit by a cold attack. Mm. So you actually did 21 points wow. of damage. Wow! So now remember, anybody hits this guy, he gets 5 hit points back. Yeah. No. no. Uh, you, they do. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we get. Anyone yeah. who hits it gets 5 he. points. Right. You. right. Yeah. He meaning we. Yes. Okay. He meaning we who is us, not him. All right. <laughs> Uh, that was steel. Next up is the rolling fireball. Oh dear. Right. I should not have taken point. <laughs> it goes one, two, three. Enters your square. Four. But it's a cold square. Five, six, seven, eight. And it will end its movement there. And as it rolls through your square, it makes an attack against you. It also takes some damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'll let you roll a damage. Roll a d6 for me. That's how much damage it takes. Yeah. Yeah, to the two six. Six. Uh, This is an attack against your reflex defense. Uh, 22. Your uh, reflex defense is on your cheat card there. It's uh, probably oh, less than 20. Uh, 14. Okay, he totally hit you. <clears throat> totally hit you. Totally hit you, dude. Uh, he does a total of nine fire damage to you. Okay. So that comes off your hit points. Now, when he rolled through my square and then I delivered six damage points, that's based on the cold. That's so the cold that you're standing He doesn't get, also get that five vulnerability to uh, cold damage as well? Yes, he does. Sweet. And, and do did, I get an attack of opportunity? And, yeah, does he get an opportunity attack? No, right? that's the special ability of this uh, thing. Kind of like the bat. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And then uh, next up is, that was it, so we are at Ranrock, who is not standing in a cloud. Wink! <laughs> hey, boys! He's not a this? cold cloud. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Brave. It's called balls. Brave. Okay. Um, and are we pretending I picked up my javelins? Sure. Yes, Back absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Ran around. Are we pretending I went to town and bought healing potions? <laughs> I would like to attack hit with my javelin and mark this guy. Okay. Um, Marked for what death. What do you mean mark? I can mark someone as a target, and then uh, if they if they try if to they attack, attack anybody else, else they but can I might not get it. Gotcha. That my his special That's ability good. might That's negate good. it, but no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Ten. laughs> <laughs> Once again, I queued myself up for a terrible attack. Yes. Well done. Uh, Jaundice. And I'd like to mark it. He doesn't even have to adjust his pen. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six toward that blue cloud, but I'm going to take aim right. at my friend and use my daily power. Uh, area burst one within 20 squares. I'm going to put the burst 
right on his head. Um, this is um, an attack versus his will defense. It's a phantom chasm. Um, I create the image of a bottomless cab chasm that opens beneath him, convincing him that they are plummeting to their deaths. So we're getting psychological on him. <laughs> this thing <laughs> might not think. <laughs> <laughs> and I roll a 19 against his will. That hits. Okay, and it does 2d6 plus 5 damage. Is this psychic damage? Um, psychic damage, yes. And the target will become prone and immobilized until the end of its next turn. Mm. Um, so I do four, um, five, six, nine damage. Nice and done. Psychic. All right. Uh, this thing can't really fall prone, oh, yeah. okay. but uh, it is immobilized. Okay. As it thinks it's plunging down into a pit, a pit in its mind. Awesome. Does he get five hit points back for that? Yes, he does. Do I, I get five? Oh, thank you. No, I had done a healing surge before. <clears throat> okay. But it just feels good. I get just kind of a tingle. Did you do damage? Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was my deal. But did. Well, well done. Can be a I like the cards. Nice really done. good idea. Yeah, yeah. Blue Bell of the Drow is up. Go ahead and uh, fire my longbow out. All right. Uh, eight plus five. No, sadly. So I miss him again. Yeah. All right. Bummer. Kai. Now, um, only one person can be in a cloud at a time, correct? Correct. All right. So I guess I will use my javelin again. This time. Oh, Take man. him out. I need help. 12 plus 6. That hits. All right. Nice. And so your damage is... Oops. Oh. Sorry. A d6 plus 4, plus another d6 for the cold that you're standing in. 6 and 2, so uh, Plus 4 is 12, you plus another 5 because it's vulnerable is 17 points. Nicely done. You get 5 hit points if you It need. is bloodied, which means it has taken half its hit points. Uh, well, were, you, all right, were you tracking them on here? It looks like you're full. Yeah, I'm full. You're fine. All right. Good things, boys. Good news is that it is Steel Diamond's turn. Yeah, he's going to, he's going to blow us all. That's good news. I'm going to enact a misdirected mark, a yep. range of ten against one creature. Yep. It's a plus five to attack, one d eight plus five damage. Sweet. So I rolled uh, an eleven. Uh, that's a miss. Okay. And then I'm going to move. One, Ooh. two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, this thing would normally go next, but it is immobilized, so it does nothing. It still thinks it's falling down a chasm. Mm -hmm. Then we jump to Ranrock. Ranrock is going to throw his second javelin he's five feet. He's not close he's enough. Not close enough. Okay. Yeah. Unless he stepped out of the cold. We don't want to do that. All right, javelin is away. I use my... Nineteen? Hits. So you do your normal okay, javelin damage, and then roll a, an additional d6 on 1 top One d6 plus 5. So 6, 11. And then another d6, because you're in the cold. Oh, okay. So 6 plus 1. So 7, seven. plus 5, because he's vulnerable to cold, so 12 points total. Oh, okay. I All get right. it. I get it. He is looking, he's sputtering now. Did you get hit points? Go down. And it is Jonas's. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, sorry, did I skip? No, it's Jonas' turn already. Finish him! All right. Um, all right, he's going to get my at will um, phantom bolt, but first I will back up. All right. Nice. I hope I still have range. Um, it's yes. range 10, so you sure we're do. good. Okay, and um, it's a plus 5 to. 19, yes. yes. Woohoo! So it does 1d8 plus 5. And add an extra d6 on top of that. Um, so that's 8, and the d6 is 11. You destroy it. Yeah! Wow. Wow. Yeah. And so yeah, is this ring good. gone? Uh, as a matter of fact, it is. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> and the circle around the sarcophagus is deactivated. Yeah. It shuts down. Ooh. And I'm going to take the rest of that gold. All right. And I assume you're going to try to crack the lock? Yes. All right. So I'm going to hustle on over there. Uh, I lied. The circle springs back up. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> nice. But a concrete wall. Make sure you get this. Johnny Goldhorde over here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, nice. I don't have any spells or anything to help me out of it. Can we help him on this? Uh, you Rolling could assist history? with thievery. Yes, you have. Anyone but have uh, you have to be trained. That's the trick. And I don't think any of you are. We all go to community college. Yes. So you're on your own. 
Um, all right, so I'm going to roll thievery. Is that the idea? Yes. As you're analyzing the coffin up close, you, you notice that there is some consequence to failure. Mm. No, it's been opened. Which is to say <laughs> that some of the locks on this sarcophagus are fake. And you're trying to ascertain the correct one. Perhaps arcana? Pure thievery. Pure thievery, all right. It's just your knowledge of, of locks and whatnot. I'm the runes guy. <laughs> I don't know. Basically, I if, basically, if you fail your check, it kind of means you were f farting around with the wrong one. Okay. Now, should everyone be rolling thievery to help me out? Uh, they can't we're because not trained. it's trained zero. only. I've got a negative four, which <laughs> I think means I actually give things back. You know, I'm sorry. I took this earlier. <laughs> your watch. Slips Take my watch. Into <laughs> slips into the Fortunately, the lock doesn't look too complicated. Uh, Losing my ass here. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, nine. Plus your thievery bonus? Two. Eleven. Okay, you get electrocuted. <laughs> Run luck. Uh, For eight lightning damage. That shows poorly. Yeah. As you uh, get zapped by one of the fake locks. Let's that thing open. I was going to say. All right. Uh, you can try again. To... Yeah, well, do I have to use my action point? Uh, no, you don't. Yeah, because everyone's just saying yeah, yeah. 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 right, They're just we watching. We're going to get this done. 19. 19. All right. 21. Okay, with a 21, you do it. The sarcophagus clicks open. Woo. Some dwarven bones come tumbling out. Not concerned. But you see that, like a soup. that uh, there is a big-ass shield in there. Yeah! yeah. And uh, you can see hanging from the shield are some desiccated, rotten, shriveled orc heads. I'm not concerned with it. So you pull <laughs> the shield out, and you've got it. It's and as you... Bomb. There's really nothing to stop you now from leaving this place by the route that you came. That's what Indiana Jones I assume thought. that you're not <laughs> going for back. The frozen pond. For the right gold. There. Well, there's that. There's. But you got. You got that rope. Oh, okay, great. So, nice. are you planning to go back the way you came? Yes. To how much time do we have? Avoid other potential. How much time is left? What's our? Too much. It's, it's about 20 minutes. We've got one of three shields. 20 minutes. We should show the... Uh, so we should go back and say, look, we got a shield. Yeah, we should uh, show the shield the yeah. flamethrower. But if we go out... You only know, you know there's only one shield down here. The other right. shields are elsewhere. Oh, you know, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, we elsewhere. might run into a little trouble with that one bodyguard. Of three. That bodyguard's not yeah, there for nothing. I'm still feeling a little queasy from that wine he gave me. I, I, I don't know if that was legit. Explain Didn't me. agree with you. Why don't we go back to that old woman's house, kill her and the bodyguard. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Let's and, go back and show the and shield. And take all of her stuff and then... We take the gold. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe him out on the way over. Bluebell just got electroshocked. I don't think he's he's thinking to <laughs> straight. Not thinking too I straight. Straight. <laughs> yeah. back and show up what we did. I want right. to go back a different way than when you do. Way we I don't think we have yeah. time. What if we run into one? We're gonna run into thing? trouble. Again. We'll go out on a cliffhanger and everyone will wonder whatever became. All right, we're going out through that hall. It'll be like how the Dungeons and Dragons Let's check cartoon out that hall. show ended. All right, no now, you do not have a zip line going into the hall. Someone will write so, a on the internet. can we make a five foot leap? You there could. Is. There's something called athletics as a skill which lets you jump things. <laughs> Oh, oh, I know from athletics. Yeah. <laughs> wink, wink. I've got a 10 athletics. And, it's, and you only need to roll a 10 to successfully jump that expanse. Can I look at Bluebell, <laughs> say, this is how daddy do it, give, give him a wink, <laughs> and then run, never saw him run as fast as I can, <laughs> literally pushing him out of the yeah. way. <laughs> and diving. Make me cross, okay? Impress. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, you did it. Uh, you did it. Oh, wait. You did did it. Yeah, I've got, a nine, I've got a plus six, so I'm... You're on athletics? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Maybe Very I might good. even use a minor to turn back around and give a follow-up <laughs> wink. <laughs> Anybody else want to make that leap? Uh, yeah, we're not going in order anymore, right? Mm -hmm. uh, ooh. <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> Three... Plus, my athletics is eight. Oh, you made so. it. So we've only been in one encounter <laughs> since before, so we... Eighteen still, plus a ten. We don't get back yeah. our action points or anything. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anybody else want to jump over? They're only two. Dan, you go first. Like, by the way, who's, who's got the shield? Nice. Just out of curiosity. Oh, who's carrying it? <laughs> All right. right. Keep in mind, guys, I'm down to eight hit points. So. Am I going, going higher or lower? You might take the shield lower. off my body. My oh, you're out of the... We can hold the tensors again? 
Yes, if you have it. If you you can't give it. up your surges to Absolutely. other people, right? Tensors is described to me here as a ritual. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, so I guess that's something I can only do once. And should there? No, be... you can do rituals over and over again. It just costs money, which we'll assume you now have. So... Oh, okay. Well, I'll do it again. Are right. you down to whatever? No, that leaves eight. the bard. Can I use this between encounters? Uh, is it, is it a combat power? It's a healing, arcane healing thingy. Uh, no. Can I use my second wind to give to uh, right, Bluebell? Well, I'm going yep. to roll this athletic thing over plus see. zero. We get, we get these back after every encounter, right? What's, what's it? Ah, uh, yeah, you get the reds back. Ten? Okay. That's all you need? Just not the action point. Okay, you guys can actually take like a five-minute break, theoretically here, to rest up, spend your healing surges, if you have them, um, and I, get uh, hit points back if you want. I have none left. Okay. My daily and my action point are still gone. To make a long story short, when you walk back that way, there's the hallway right here. There are two frozen dwarves holding levers, which appear to be to these doors, which are in the open position. The levers are my specialty. So you have absolutely nothing stopping you on your way out there. Mm -hmm. well, so the question is, are you planning to go fight spiders, or are you going to just sk skedaddle and right talk to the Why would we fight spiders? <laughs> Where's our get, flamethrower? Get the flamethrower, which is right around that it's corner. Sure the um, go through the the drum room right. and around to the spiders. Yep. All yeah. right. And just clean this place out because that that architect was such a sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we never <laughs> used that uh, that gem. Yeah, we still got the gem. Yeah. Oh. Let's throw that down. Love of God, that could have come in so handy. Yeah, what could that have done if we were, when we were surrounded by all those minions and you don't know? You I'm have to test it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, unless anything prevents us, I guess we're going to try to comes too. go through to around here. All right. Um, and this guy's leading the way? That's up to you guys. Let's have him go for first, right? The yeah. yeah. I'll, get, I'll get behind it. Did anyone tell him that we got the shield? I think he'd, he'd be excited. <laughs> Should we check out if there's treasure in that? Do you guys want to right? name him? You, what, what name do you want to give him? I'll tell the him. The flamethrower? Yeah. Steve. <laughs> Flamey hot stuff. <laughs> hot stuff. <laughs> this way, hot good, stuff. Good lord. How about Spitfire? All right. Your name is Spitfire Hot Stuff Caliente you the fourth. Lead this thing in. And I will have it move ahead of me at whatever range it can until it encounters something alive. You see that... Uh, not that guy. Can These are all dangling on. corpses, mm. dead dwarves who are hanging like puppets from the ceiling. Love it. But they clearly look lifeless to you. Burn them anyway. Well, there could be loot. But you think I should burn, burn the loot? We're not worried about loot. All right. We're here for destruction. <laughs> so you want to just uh, <clears throat> flame out the area? Yeah. All right. And I, I command it to, to play to play hot time somewhere in the cities. Okay. okay. As it burns, uh, these skeletons fall from their burnt webs into heaps on the ground, and you hear this sort of squee sound from up there. Burn this place out. Squee! That's a nest. Burn the squee! And uh, you see. Oh, yeah, burn them! Oh, there we go. Wait, 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 Tom, can you throw your gem? Uh, he's got to cover. <laughs> he's holding on to that gem. I'm sure who, whatever he summons will appreciate being summoned in the middle of five giant spiders. What the fuck, What's fellas? What's the problem, fellas? Hey, right. everybody, you get three wishes. Well, everybody, roll initiative for me. Uh, of steel, jaundice, and Ranok. Uh, Ranrock, who goes first? You rolled a five? I rolled a five, and then yeah. you beat me. We both got okay, fives okay. and rolled in okay. one, so okay. I'm last. I think right. Zeb's first. All right. Got got it. It. And Ram those who rolled Ram sevens. Ram. So this thing basically acts on your turn. Okay. Um, then it is the spider's turn. Uh oh. Hmm. This one's actually dead because you caught it in that blast. Good. 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 Call one. One last thing. So we're standing right next to the exit, right? Yeah. <laughs> they will leap down and attack the construct. Mm hmm. Does it have anything to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fellas. <laughs> This isn't what I was made for. <laughs> All right, uh, they clamp onto it ineffectually. And then it is Mother Spider stays back there, and we have got... Old Ranrock. Now, if I step into here, will I be in this guy's blast area? Uh, not unless he says so. Okay. So I'm going to... Or can I even make it here? Yep. Okay, I'm going to come here, totally and I'm going to do a cleave yep. on these two. 
Oh, because we're starting fresh. They are minions, so if okay. you hit them, they'll just die. I you get well, hit that guy. Uh, plus eight, eighteen. You killed him too. Okay. All oh, right. Uh, and yeah. then it is uh, Steel's turn. I'm gonna walk back to the, the sleeping face on the wall and say, uh, "Hey, hey." But is it? We're interested to know that we got, Hello. we got the shield. We got the shield. We solved your riddles. He says, well, isn't that a surprise? <laughs> nice work. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's all right. <laughs> he says, you earned it. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? Your mother and I are very proud of you. <laughs> he says, so are you going after the other three or the other two? Are they here? He says, by Morden's beard, no. Well, I there guess are other I'll... tombs. Yes, let us schedule a time to do that right now. <laughs> he says, Take out your date book to schedule a time. He says, I'm one of the builders of this here tomb. I didn't have anything to do with the other ones. Mm. I'm afraid, my young friend, you are on your own. What is that noise I hear, by the way? Oh, we're, uh, we've got a flamethrower. Monster out of the corner of the city. We're trying to kill <laughs> these spiders. <laughs> 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 Jumping ahead to uh, John Dess. Do you want to command this thing to do anything? I do indeed. Uh, yeah, yeah, burn. That room. burn. I do indeed. Uh, yeah, I want him to just tilt right there and send a flame oh, strike. Oh, uh, it crits the spider, so do me a favor Ooh. and uh, roll 2D. Actually, don't roll anything. I just max it out. Uh, spider will make a loud noise as Mama Spider burns. Thank you very much. <laughs> well done. You know, with this thing in your possession, you're probably going to own this encounter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then uh, it is actually your turn. Mm. Uh, you can see now that you're sort of in the room that this spider had all of these kind of weird, almost web-like strands going all around the ceiling, almost like she was controlling these things like puppets. Oh. Oh. Not anymore, though. Not anymore, though. She's got other things to think about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll s step in. Here, okay. If you like say, I, shows, I assumed huh? a um, uh, once through my friendly. Yeah, there. that's fine. And um, blast her with um, a phantom bolt. All right. Plus five to hit. Uh, Fifteen. That's just gonna do it. Okay, and it does a one d eight plus five psychic. That was against Will, by the way. Yeah. Okay, and um, only does uh, six damage. Okay. She lives. She's, she's, she's bloodied, by the There's way. Ichor. Yeah, okay. oh, she's yeah. ichored. She is totally ichored. Kai's turn. But uh, what's left to do? I, I want to ride this thing like Slim Pickens <laughs> at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> <That's great. laughs> That's awesome. From, from there, can I, th I don't know, throw a javelin at yeah, the Yeah, you totally can. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that's pretty. 11 plus, what's the javelin? Six. Six. That's going to hit her. Yes. Woo! Just like Zagon. And damage, sick? please. Uh, damage. D6 plus 4. Yep. Nine. <laughs> All right, it sticks in her. She squeezed some more, but she's uh, still hanging on to life. All right. And it is Bluebell's turn. <laughs> Time to blow <laughs> your mind. Blue That's Bluebell. Move me into position. <laughs> I'm going to throw down that gem. Yeah! And see what happens. <laughs> a gigantic earth oh, elemental appears yeah. and just smashes the spider to a pulp. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then it turns to you and looks for something else to smash. Oh, oh we could have had it the whole we time. We got a giant head. Thanks for creating the right, the system. Can we interest so. you in a giant head, Rock <laughs> There might be more stuff down there. Tell it to crush everything in this path. Yes, it will go off and meander down here and crush puppets. Bring this treasure. Uh, this, when it starts to beat on this thing, a spider swarm comes pouring Ooh. out of the dead oh. ice. Oh, it was already dead. Yes, and it just starts stomping on the spider swarm and beating yeah. things up and beating things up, which allows you to quietly withdraw. However, you can't take your arcane ballista with you because it won't fit up the stairs. Uh, uh, thank the you. Is Back to the older one. Uh, All right. Let's give her the shield. All right. So is I sort uh, of give it a hug and I and I. 
I sort of say, like, you know, I shed a tear, and I wish you could come with me, and it sort of says... I know I'm your favorite. I'll be right here. And, <laughs> and, 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 and we ha you know, John Williams' music swells, and as I look yeah. back down the stairway, it just goes like Or is that. it the ballad version of Hot Times? So it sheds an iron tear. All right, so as you climb back up to the surface, the unanswered questions, is Trillion on the up and up? Are they going to... Are you going to give her the shield? Are you not... Yeah, we're giving I'm on a live, so I'm open to subjection, but I... We'll see what happens. I want to say we're trying to build a good rep. Guys, it's our first job. We, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Give it All a right. shield. I guess we'll have to pick that up another time. What? Uh -oh. Ooh. Thank you, Chris. That was yeah. awesome. You. Guys, it's our first job. We, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Give it a right. shield. I guess we'll have to pick that up another time. What? Uh, Ooh. Uh, thank you, Chris. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. You. Awesome. Excellent. Beautiful. Well done. Love it. Can we keep our character sheets? You totally can. Um, are these available like online? Can people print yes. these templates yeah. and then put spells in? Fact, in? Yeah. These the were super the online handy. character builder lets you print all your cards. That's so cool. Yeah, if you want to keep your characters in your cards, that's great. I need the minis back, that's all. Is that at wizardsofthecoast.com? Slash. Yes, indeed. Something? Indeed. Yeah, it's, uh, if you went in and talk to me after this, we'll get you like a D&D &D Insider account. Yay! So, you survived, you survived your first foray into Under Mountain, so you got to feel yeah. good about that. Sweet. That's awesome. Is Under Mountain a uh, campaign setting? It kind of is. It's like a, just a dungeon-based campaign with you know scores and scores of ways to kill you. Cool. Is this a DCI sanctioned event that we can get points for? You know. Well, you know what? Actually, that's the thing. You guys talk about D and D encounters. So yeah. About D and D encounters. It's basically we're going to do a weekly uh, program where it's like we are. Well, yeah, I mean, we could. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, fly down every weekend. weekend. <laughs> but TV encounters like it's every week, and like people go to the game store, and this is basically what they do. They're gonna be playing through Under Mountain every week. This is not That's sanctioned awesome. yet because I just wrote it for you guys. That's all. Oh, so, thanks. But it, it will, oh, thank you, Chris. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. Uh, that was very cool. See, you could tie that in with a show concept where the show's being played. If those are similar to what people yeah. can play at their own yeah. stores, compare their scores with what the people on the show got. Or do stats online, or yeah. you know, and the top player gets to play on the season finale or something with the people on the show, oh, yeah. or you know, be really for awesome. a charity. We have like a guest spot at the table. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. yeah. And all the people who made the most like XP or treasure throughout the season all play together like an all stars. Mmm, mm. 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 like that was great. Okay. Well, I'm yeah. convinced. Thank you very much. That Would you think, Newbies? Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. It was great. Yeah, it was, was fun. fun. It's pretty cool. Good stuff. Yeah, it really was. Fun? Yeah, totally. They were very nervous. They're like, we don't know, we don't know how to play. What it's gonna happen? I don't know what do you think, dude? Sometimes you can like talk, like just have fun, and talk through it. Then it's like the mechanics, the rules, and stuff kind of take care yeah. of themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Loved yeah. it. Wow. Just a good time. Thank yeah. You thanks, you guys. Yeah, thanks for coming out. This is fun. Go on. Twenty of these first. Loved it. No, always <laughs> There was laughter, there was tears. You guys did really well. We were smart first and dumb second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, man. Yeah, no, thank you. I had a lot of fun.